There we go. No people are just coming on in, but... Hey, everyone. Sorry for the delay on this. Uh, was really tired Thursday, and then Friday I had a last-minute kind of thing pop up that I had to take care of, but uh, I'm able to stream today. I was going to stream a little bit earlier, but uh, had to get some errands done that I wasn't able to get done on Friday, so it's been a, it's been a lovely uh, chain of events this last couple days. <laughs> You have to go hang washing, hand washing, hang washing. What? I'm missing. Hey, Hane, welcome. My stream is on fire. Hmm. It's also got a fox in it. Well, fox girl. Oh, hang washing on a lot. Okay, yeah, 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 that makes more sense. I was very confused. I was like, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. What? This is fine. <laughs> it's Bright Star. She keeps attacking the result. <laughs> Here, does this help? Oh. Well. YouTube now is not a good time to insert ads. I could, but I don't feel like it. I never feel like it. Because I feel like that's not something I want to do either. Oh yeah, I forgot that there's also the extra Wakamo scene. That's true. This one needs more head pats. She's constantly getting abducted. There's not much we can do about it, but we will try. <laughs> Which also reminds me, who's the one to- Ah, oh, okay, so it's Arona. There we go. Never paid attention to YouTube emote. There's apparently a way that you can- I, I haven't bothered looking into it. Maybe it's a thing for, like, what do they call it? Uh, joins? The people who do, the, like, the join- the member- the, yeah, members. That's what it's called. YouTube members. I know there's a thing for members. I've never really looked into that. I guess that'd be an easier way to do things instead of relying on, like, Patreon and having people set up a whole bunch of stuff there. I don't necessarily know how people, like, super chat or anything. Like, if you have to, like, set up stuff for that. I've never really done it myself, so I can't say. <laughs> but I know that there's customs you can add with the uh, YouTube members. That's a thing that you can do. So, um, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I've always been hesitant to add, like, different me methods of monetization, especially right now. But it do be what it is. Also, can I get Plana? There she is. <laughs> there she is. There. Now we've taken care of both, chat. We can now begin story. <laughs> We can now begin st <laughs> I still find it funny I broke her on day one. So there is a... Uh, I know there's a banner for them specifically. What is this? Oh, is this the... Is it? Yeah, this is the... This is one of those. Okay. That's a lot of time. Do they just give you one of these every year and be like, hey, yeah, you have this many days left until we reset it? Is that how this works? <laughs> I'm not used to seeing this many days left on a timer before. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's her, though. I'm actually tempted because this girl is hilarious to use. I'm sure she's not great, but I kind of want.
Oh gosh. She's PvP. Wait, what? Really? Ichika's coming. All oh, right, Ichika. What? What's her type again? Like, what was her? Uh... Oh, she's pi That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I see piercing. I already know it's over. It's already over. Next game. Oh, uh, yeah, guys, I know how she plays. I, I I remember when I used her during chapter F and I just spammed it to the point where we where we uh, killed the boss off screen. If you're not, if you're not mystic, I mean, I have a better chance of an explosive even than piercing. Like piercing is literally the one that I should, I'm like, I should never pull on, unless it's the twins, because the twins for some reason liked appearing. If it's the twins, they're loud, but not not anybody else. <laughs> But yeah, it, it definitely depends on who, uh... Let me see, how's Hakuyakuyako? I do need more of these. Unfortunately, those aren't the top ones. I need more purples, actually. I guess I can take this one. Yeah, Mob-chan, that'll be, that'll be something. Or, Ichika. Her EX is cheap. Yeah, it, it, it's like I said. I know how she is. I had a lot of fun with her, and that's part of the reason why I kind of want to get her, is because she was so hilarious to use. Pull for the new two star, except don't. I mean, there's a good chance I probably could get her. I also do have this ticket, which I've not used. I don't remember where I got the ticket from, because it's been a while since I've done polls. She's a Sonic type, isn't she? Or whatever that new whatever whatever that new type is. Yeah, Sonic. So do they just ab Was it called wasn't it called Siege or was that the armor type? is about the same rate as an actual three star wait really no that doesn't make sense really i never actually looked at that what's her name her name is she's momiji right yeah momiji or momiji i guess technically momi Holy crap, there's this many twos now. Oh my gee, she's at a 3%. <laughs> I know this is the pity tin. This is the pity tin, but that's actually kind of sad. Like, this is actually kind of sad. She has less chance of being on the 10th recruitment. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like you, you would think this would go up too. <laughs> Why does this stay constant? There's no reason for that to be constant. <laughs> It doesn't make sense at all. Everyone else goes up, except for <laughs> Oh my, that is... That is actually sad. Alrighty. I don't know. I'm not... I'll be honest. 
I don't honestly think I should try because the last time I went for Sonic, it didn't go well and I had to go to Pity. That was Hanago. <laughs> I don't even want to try piercing. Though I do like this character because she's hilarious to use. I don't think I have normal Cherino, do I? Don't I have I have the I have the I have the spa variant, don't I? Do I even have? Wait, hang on. Academy, come here. What? Why is this? Oh, it's because it's no hit all. I was so confused for a second. This isn't sorted by Academy either. What is this sorting? What? What? What is this sorting? Is there a school filter? Is there just a... Is there... Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I don't have her. The rest of... Wow! <laughs> Man, look at all the red winner I have, guys. Isn't that amazing? Isn't this amazing? Average resolution hit. No, I just never pulled for that. It's your red winner, War Oster. Oh. Oh. Yeah, look at mine. <laughs> Isn't this great? That wasn't even exile. I just don't have. <laughs> Can I just join Minority and start protesting? What am I gonna protest? I don't know. I'm totally not bi- actually, now that I think about it, I think I actually do have a bias. It really is Millennium, isn't it? I think I'm actually biased towards Millennium. Maybe. Well... Hang on, let me look at my pins. What is- which faction am I most biased towards? Millennium, Trinity, Millennium, yucky 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 yucky. I mean, do I count alternatives? I don't know if I should, because they're technically the same person. Millennium, Millennium. So I'm already at four Millenniums. <laughs> There's my first Gehenna. All right, so I'm actually tied. I'm tied between Millennium and yucky yucky. Okay, no, I'm not. Uh, if we counted her, then we'd be tied again. Trinity, I've already counted you. Gehenna, I already counted you. Yeah, so three. There's Millennium again. Already counted. Trinity, Trinity. Yoko. Actually, it looks like it's a two way tie between. Uh, Allied Hyakyako uh, and um, Millennium. I think those are my two. I think that's that. Those are my two factions, actually. Oh, am I off by one, really, on Millennium? Hang on, let me see. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh yeah, it is five. Wow. It is five. Huh. Wait, do I have Chinatsu? I think I'm missing one in Gehenna, actually. Yes, I am. I'm missing a Gehenna. 
I'm like sitting here now like, did I miss anybody else? Because I feel like since I missed that one, I haven't updated this recently. I do kind of, I'd like Izumi for how, how silly she is, but that's about it. <laughs> I don't know. I should probably level her at some point too. Wait, do I have a Yanni? Wait, what am I doing? I'm sitting here like, wait a minute, hold up. A Yanni's not in here. Oh, also Yuzu isn't. Wait. Oh wait, no, I've got Yuzu now. I just didn't pin her. Because I didn't have both of these. I actually do like Yuzu. Okay, now we're at six. <laughs> so who am I missing that's not, that I don't have? Okay, that, all right. Um, well, uh, never mind. I think it, I think it definitely is Hyakuyako. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> No, we don't have a tie anymore, Savan. We don't. There's two right here. <laughs> we don't have a tie anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, there's this dork. I forgot she was added. I can still hear it. There's one for that group, actually. Yeah, okay. It definitely is allied. Definitely didn't raise- No, I didn't! I was, uh... I probably could now. Actually, wait, do I want to do that? Hold up. I don't know who I should be- who I want to raise right now. I think it was, uh, was it getting Koharu full? Well, Koharu's Trinity, not Millennium. Oh yeah, is she worth leveling? I've not actually worked with Shiroko. That's defense down, actually. That's pretty nice. Mystic. Excluding the user by 1% increases the X cost once per battle. Oh yeah, I'm looking. I'm already looking at her like, yeah, no, 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 no. Never mind. No, she's very good. I can already. <laughs> defense down. This. I mean, this is nice. I don't know how, how how big that's gonna be in the end. Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna level her. I think I found the Millennium I need to level. I think we're good. <laughs> I, I I I think I think we're good. Herb Millennium. I'm sorry, Abydos. I'm tired. <laughs> I meant Abydos, thank you guys. I don't, I've, I've been, we were talking about Millennium versus uh, uh, Allied Hyakuyako, and I got that name. That, that's something I do. I, there's nothing I can do about that. My brain does not function that well sometimes when I say the same word over and over again. How much sleep did you have today? Actually, about seven hours. Yeah, about seven. So maybe it was just my brain stupid sometimes. <laughs> well, okay, I'll, I'll be honest. I use my I I work during the week, and then the weekend is when my brain just shuts off because it's just like we I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I don't want to do anything on the weekend. I mean, I know I have to do things, but I don't want to. Ignore that. Don't look at this number. Don't look at it. Seven hours sleep is real. No, I need ten hours. I don't even think I could sit. I could sleep for ten hours. It sounds like it'd be nice, but at the same time, I feel like I'm losing a lot of my day if I did. It says a guy was playing Ark Knights earlier. Well, okay, Ark Knights is not really something I would say that it like. <sighs> How would I phrase this then? Unless it's something I want to do where I actually need to use my brain, I'll do it. But in most cases, I don't want to. <laughs> it's 
if you're gonna tell me that I have to do some programming over the weekend, I'm probably gonna be looking at you and saying, nah. Now, if I have to, I don't have a choice, but still, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, 90% expert mode works in weekdays, then 10% dork brain works weekend extend up week, pretty much. <laughs> hey, Edna. Oh, good night. I cannot sleep for 10 hours anymore. I'm sad. I mean, I probably could. I don't know if- it's more of I could, but I probably don't want to. What else do I have? Speaking of sleep... Alright. Let me- let me- let me log into club before I forget again. It's like the one thing I'm like, I don't want to have to click this to go over there and do that. <laughs> I usually just like, all right, go into event, dump AP, click this button, do bounty, do skirmish, total assault, technically. I, oh, I have not done it. I'll do that later. How goes that pulls? Do you guys really? All right, all right. We'll do one. We'll do the 10 pull on Marion. <laughs> We'll, we'll see. I'm not- I don't know if I want to- I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to try for this one. Mostly because I don't know how Meru is. I'm more interested in her... <laughs> ...than I am her. <laughs> That's kind of the struggle. I was like, as much as these two probably can be funny, I kind of want her because she's hilarious. You're a hardworking guy. Ten hours should be the minimum for- No, 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 no. Like, I usually get like six to eight, and that's good. Six to eight is the only reason why I don't have to get up in the morning and drink coffee. <laughs> I'm not spending like ten- I don't even know how much money it is for coffee. Because I don't drink it. I still remember when I was in college, people, people were like, you don't drink coffee? And I'm like, no. And they're just like, how do you do it? And just like, sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Alright, if someone says, pull after event then, pull after the event. I had the regular banner full was fire. Wait, what, really? Wait, how many students are in this- well, that crashed. How many students are in this pool now? Like, how big is this? Jeez. That is a lot. It's probably about, what, 60-ish? 70, probably? Maybe 80? 60 to 80? You have a sleeping curse? What do you mean a sleeping curse? Like, insomnia? Or... Something I don't know. Let's just let's just you know what? Let's let's d that's not what I wanted to do. Let's just dive into story. Let's have ourselves some fun. We can pull out the end if we feel this is says lemming. Oh no. Just about 150 suit that sounds about right. Alright guys, calm down. I know Momiji's here, but we don't need to do that. So, I know I need to do this stage, so let's go ahead and dive out on in and just enjoy ourselves. You thought four was a lot? Wait, like four hours of sleep? Really? Wait, how much, how much, how many hours of sleep do you, do you does everyone here get? Like, what, what do you guys normally get? Because I was like, I try to get six to eight. I mean, it's, six is more likely than eight, but... Are you two sweeping? What, what, what? Are you cleaning? Is that what this noise is I'm hearing? Four to five, six, 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 four to five, seven. I get zero to four. Ouch. <laughs> four? See, from eleven to four to five. That's about six, seven. No, that's about, that's five or six. That's still pretty good. Anywhere between no sleep at all and eight. You know what? Good range. <laughs> it's 
sleepers for the week. Sometimes five if I'm being dumb. Partially because I stay up playing game. Yeah, I get that. I can understand that. I know a lot of people that do that. There's one of my coworkers stays up uh, pretty late. He plays uh, he plays games with his friends. Please don't talk about sleep and focus. <laughs> We're not talking about focus, just sleep. War Thunder. What what would you guys say is your like guilt the game that does that like keeps you up if you're gonna be doing that? Like if you're gonna if you're not sleeping because you're too busy playing a game, what would that one be, do you guys think? I'm like sitting here thinking what that would be for me. I mean I know what it is right now what it would be right now if I did. <laughs> Kane's Wrath. You really play Kane's Wrath? IS4. Yeah. I get that. You play Nike, so. Wait, is Nike the game that keeps you up? Gotta farm. Fair enough. Oh, Warframe. Yeah, Warframe, I can get that. Gosh, games is about all I play. Fair enough. Fair enough. There's a huge list of RPG Maker. Man, I remember when RPG Maker was like new when everyone was making making those games. There's some really good ones from what I remember hearing about. But anyway, are you okay? No, all this dust that they are they are cleaning. It's killing my lungs. You have a mask on. I guess you don't have the you don't have like the perfect filtration, but at least it it gets rid of most of it. That's why we're cleaning. But what's the point? Why do all why do all this cleaning when nobody's ever here to appreciate it? President Cherino is the only visitor and she just comes here to nap. That's actually kind of sad if you're in a library. And if they're actually expecting visitors, then they should at least let us stock more books. I agree, but it's but is keeping the library clean such a bad thing? We live here, so we benefit from it, whether no, uh, anyone else does or not. Bleh, don't try to trick me with your well-reasoned arguments! <laughs> don't try to trick me with your logic! You know, sometimes people find unexpected treasures while they're cleaning. Really? Okay. Why don't we treat this- why don't we treat this more like we're looking for useful artifacts? Outdated books and old manga are not treasures. Maybe all information is valuable to the li knowledge liberation front. I love how like almost every single club is like, front. <laughs> By the way, See if Yeah, it does look like a... oh, yeah, is that a oh, I see I, I, I see it is an RPG. Well, I don't know if it's an, exactly an RPG. It kind of looks like the soldier's weapon from DF2, whatever that is Brain cells are present in this one. <laughs> Oh, it's Momiji, huh? Well, me, yeah whether it's new or not, people are always clamoring for the latest content. I mean, not necessarily the latest content. Some people, sometimes people like the, like things that have been around for a long time. Like the number of people I know going for like really, really. Well, I mean, even even in like gaming world, like it, so many people would like probably die for some of like the older, uh, like gaming consoles and the original games for them. Like, I... I just found my... Uh, you know what? Hang on. <laughs> this might seem silly, and it's a bit of a meme. <laughs> but I found all my GameCube stuff a while ago. And one of the things that I found in the box that has it... <laughs> is the world famous Donkey Kong Bongos. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever find them. Yeah, I've got the Donkey Kong Bongos. <laughs> and they're actually in good shape too. They're still like, 
Like, I remember they, w they were played pretty decently, but they weren't like... Like, you could tell they're worn in a little bit, but they're not like, uh, like, damn it, they're, they're just used. <laughs> but it, I was like, I found that, and I was like, yes! I haven't seen, the only problem is I can't play the games, because, like, how many, how many TVs or monitors do you guys know that has, like, the original, like, three-prong cable? I need to get, like, a converter or something. I don't really know what I would need for that. But yeah, like, I would... I, like, all the games I have from my childhood are in the bin over there, and I'm like, man, I want to play all those old ones again. But I can't, because I don't have the... I need, to get a, I need to get a converter for it. But anyway... <laughs> yeah, but when the latest content is moldy old books and manga... Where... Why are you so determined to be negative about this? Uh-oh. Are you... Are, no, no fighting. Girls. Girls. Girls! Wait a second, Mario, come here! Hmm? What? Did you find something? Yes, I found Luna, volumes 4 to 21. I can't believe such treasures are right under our nose. What's Luna? <laughs> you don't know about Luna? And you call yourself a member of the Knowledge Liberation Front? Well, you see, I'm disappointed in you. These stories are legendary. It's about two characters named Luna who experience life together. They're both named Luna? Wait, what? There's something for everyone. Life, love, life, punk themes, a band, movies, and everything. The final volume, volume 22, took kind of a turn, but you really missed out on something amazing, Mitter. What a shame. Do you mean that you pity me for missing out, or do you find my ignorance shameful? Oh, I've never once thought you were shameful, Mitter. You know that. Hmm, that's true. Anyway, I happen to own volumes 1 to 3. Why don't you take this chance to get acquainted with Luna? Do I have to? Of course! We have <laughs> this is like that one friend that, like, has... They they have this one anime that they're, like, hyper-enthusiastic about. And then you tell them... You make the mistake of telling them that you've never heard of it, or never seen it, or read it, or wh whatever. And they're, like, shoving the manga in your face, and also the, like, the, the, the Blu-ray. I had two friends that did that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Me with the re-zero light. <laughs> How dare Hawk not know about my favorite? I think that's me on that person. Oof! <laughs> no, that's fine. I mean... I don't mind, like, trying out other things and other, like, new animes I've never heard of or anything of the like. But, uh, like, I don't mind, I definitely won't mind trying things out if I, if I have time, that is. I should probably put the, if I have time, that's a quantifier. So, anyway. We are, the, we are the Knowledge Liberation Front. All information is equally valuable, and Luna is no exception. You're just using the Knowledge Liberation Front as an excuse to make me read this, aren't you? I'm actually kind of curious. I, I haven't even looked at what GameCube games I still have over there. I should do that one of these times. <laughs> I don't think we want to pause... I don't think we want to pause the story to go for me to go look through my GameCube games. <laughs> I know there was one I, ha I want to play, but I've not played, but I, I need to get the converter. You ever had a GameCube? You're not missing out on a whole lot. I mean, those are back in the days when it's like you had to, you know, there was the... You had to have the right memory card, or else if you didn't, uh, all your save data was missing. Or, you, you know, you had to juggle your memory for your game saves, and if you, had, if you were done playing one, you'd have to wipe that entire game. From the memory card. It just it was like either buy more memory cards or just micromanage your memory. And it sucked. <laughs> Nowadays, people who play video games now don't have to worry about that because either they have PCs, which are insane for storage, or they have consoles, which have a good amount of storage. 
but we'll probably not have as much. I mean, I'm sitting here thinking about now. There's the games are huge, but still. Mario Kart double. Yeah, that's a good one. Anyway, all done. Whoa, it's later than I thought. I don't know if any. I don't know how many people have played this game before, but if you, uh, the game that I was talking about that I want to play again one of these days is a game called Battalion Wars. I don't know how many people have actually played that. Anyway, does that mean you liked it? Tell me, what do you think? Yeah, the black memory card with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, um, first, first, it wasn't bad, but uh, that face. Right? It's amazing! You don't think the storyline feels a little contrived. Excuse me? It's just creating conflict for conflict's sake, or they use freak accidents to write off characters that get too complicated. Well, some critics did point that out back in the manga's heyday. But that doesn't mean the characters aren't appealing. Take volume 16, for example. Luna's confrontation with a studio man- Wow, they literally, like... They- they not only remember the scene, but they remember which volume it- like, that's crazy. I mean... I guess I could have done that, but I never really... <laughs> I never sat there and be like, Well, actually, if you read Volume 3, you would know this scene! <laughs> a fight is... Oh gosh, here comes the fight. Is this what this is? I played Battalion Wars. I liked it. It was fun. 3D version of Advance Wars. Kinda. It was, uh, it was interesting. This Bubba Gio Weeb, she's too pure. Probably not. They pro <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Whenever you hear someone say that nowadays, half the time I hear that, half the, half the time I read that, those two words together, I'm just envisioning that, like, Spongebob, like, pose where he's, where, like, the alternating cap meme comes off all the time. <laughs> anyway. But that doesn't mean the characters aren't appealing. Take no error of that. Professor Mansion. I'll admit the character the characterization was good, especially considering the publication here. But the story itself is just too convoluted. It got so bad that it actually ruined some volumes, if you ask me. Like in the last part of volume 21, they left too many loose ends. You said volume 22 is the final volume, right? I'm not sure that's enough to tie all those up. What do you think? Well, actually. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> volume 22 doesn't exist. <laughs> oh gosh, this is, this is gonna turn into the new phrase, just like, but of course! <laughs> what? Why not? That's a terrible way to end things. Expert. Huh? I didn't catch that. Who died and made you an expert? Okay, I was- <laughs> I was waiting for it to go that way! saying well actually and I was sitting there waiting they're gonna start fighting and I was like there one of them's gonna say who died and made you the expert because the other version of that was who is who died and made you king <laughs> those sentences are too far from each other <laughs> all I did all, like okay all I did was I would hit this but uh, I would do fast forward whatever no there's even a fast forward on this no there's not I would just madly click through this, wait till I got this the point where it would give me the background, then screenshot it, and then that would be the thumb like the thumbnail background. That would all I would do. <laughs> That's all I would do. That's the same thing with every single one of the uh, events I've done. I'm sure maybe this scene popped up, but. 
I probably wasn't- I was probably too busy trying to time getting this before the characters showed up on the screen before to even read this. Anyway. But no, like, this is, like, when they said- with, with them being, like, as nerdy as they are, I wouldn't expect that this line would be played. They're gonna just fight now at this point. Huh? I heard that in Hipper's voice. God dang it. I just wanted to know why there's no volume, final volume to wrap up the story. And another thing. A a another thing. You're not a real author. Who are you to judge? Ah, oh, yes. Oh, God. I feel authority. <laughs> oh, I hate when people use that argument. I've had so many people use that argument, the appeal to authority, and then just proceed to get absolutely destroyed by everyone because they hated that. Because it, like, you know the little dialogue meme that pops up in the corner that says everyone disliked that or everyone hated that? Yeah, that's that's what happens when anyone uses appeal to authority. <laughs> oh gosh, anyway, you never think things through before you commit them to the page. You're no better than they are. You just think of a scene and then force every character and storyline to fit in. They're flawed, just like you say the story is, so what makes you such an authority on the subject? Omiji, what's going on with you? What's wrong? I just had it, okay? I need to get this off my chest. Momiji was hurt, so yeah, pretty much. And let's not forget that you ate my fried pancake! <laughs> Where did this come from? <laughs> Okay, this is not something I would have predicted. Cause I certainly did it. It was sitting out all day. I was just I just assumed it was up for grabs. You shouldn't have you should have labeled it or something. People have eaten people's food in fridges, even if you put the name on it. You you stupid sufferable know it all. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, w welcome to arguing on the internet. <laughs> People be like that sometimes. I shouldn't have needed to. If it's not yours, don't touch it. It's common sense. Well, there is nuance to that statement, but it's alright. They're still fighting. You never consider anyone else. You just do whatever you want. If someone consider it matter. I don't have to stand here and take this. I have tons to say to you, too. You have no right to complain, Momiji. Take the book orders. Um, ladies, girl, girls, girls. We keep getting multiple copies of the same book. I bet you mistakenly placed a duplicate order, huh, Momiji? I had no choice. I'm looking for a limited edition. It's really hard to get. The reason doesn't matter. No thanks to you. The secretary... Refuse to approve any orders for two months. How are you going to fix that? You're <laughs> talking about common sense of Kimoto's. <laughs> no, no, no. To them, it's common sense. To us, it's insanity. But that's because it's just how we are and how they are. <laughs> when a world's upside down, one. <laughs> you have to realize when one, when one group's. One group's. Bleh. When one group of people, one, when one group of people's world is upside down, they're gonna see it right side up and see you upside down. Does that mean they're right? Nah, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Two hours, yeah, pretty much. So, you say that like I'm the only one doing it whatever I want. You're just as bad. Those are two completely unrelated things. No, they aren't. <laughs> Hmm. Is this supposed to be like the little lightning shooting out of their eyes and connecting with each other? Fine, whatever. Keep acting like you're better than everyone else and see what happens. See if I care. You're not gonna scare me with threats. Cause I don't care about you either, Momiji. Oh fine, just walk away when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Good riddance, I bet you're, you, I'll be just fine on my own. Yeah. I hope. 
<laughs> and then I would just I would also screenshot this like I just did right now. I would do that. That's still all I do when it comes to I'll, I'll like half the time when I when I can I'll I'll just start this scene up and then just click this a bunch of times, wait till it transitions off. Uh, and then when it transitions back to the background, screenshot it, and then start doing this again until it shows that, like, splash, or cover, cover, uh, whatever they call it, cover page, whatever. <laughs> it just be that way. Really common sense of who carry gut explosive tank and laser cannon. Um. Like I said, when one group of people's world is upside down, they'll see it right side up and you upside down. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that just be how it is. <laughs> Momiji has a calm voice, but wait till what the RPG can do. Oh, so you're, ba you're basically saying is it's always the quiet one. <laughs> Announcing a strike. Minori! I think that's that's the protest girl. I always forget her name. Ah, oh, the work never ends, does it? No matter how much I do, there's always more. Just great! <laughs> But of course, just great! <laughs> I said, say, wow, you don't look so good. No, I'm just great! <laughs> oh, gosh. One plus one equals fuck. Don't start with the math because this is gonna go back. Like every single time I think about that, like kind of stuff, I'm just like, oh gosh, this reminds me of the point nine repeating is also one. What argument can you make that point nine repeating isn't one? You can't add anything to it. <laughs> I'm just like, oh no, I don't want to think about this. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> oh gosh. My high school years with mathematics was weird. We had so many nerds in our class. <laughs> anyway, you're clearly busy. I, c I could call back another time. Maybe what's wrong? Is there some problem? No need to make a fuss just because I'm self-conscious doesn't mean... There is a problem. I mean, really? What do you take me for? Am I that, that? Ah, oh, who am I kidding? You're right, there's something. It hadn't really occurred to me but uh, before, but I suppose I could use some advice. But well, you look busy and I don't want to inconvenience you, Sensei. You look like you're about to pass out. I'll be right there, just hang on. For the students! <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, uh, what is that, what is that officer's name from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? I'm just imagine Sensei doing that running animation. Being like, for the students! <laughs> He's just straight up running to wherever he needs to go. Doesn't even take a train, just dead sprints in that. <laughs> and Sensei forgot his phone. Don't worry, Chihiro will chew him out later. Officer Earl, <laughs> probably. He <laughs> really want to do his work. Anymore. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much. That's probably why. Is he? He? He's like, is there a problem? Oh yes, it's a problem. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you got both two of the seven that are just like, well, he just took off. It does kind of make me wonder what both of those two like. Uh, what was it? Uh, Wakamo and what was the other one's name? Akira? I think her name was Akira or something like that. She's only been in the story once. I don't have her name down yet. I think it's Akira. Hmm. 
It's like, it makes you wonder, like, how, like, are they watching Sensei? Because it's very clear that both of them like him. It's very clear. So you'd have to wonder how much... How much those two are just w watching him. Anyway, you were so quick to act, Sensei. What can I say? I'm procrastinating. You know you'll end up having to pull an all-nighter to get it done. But I suppose that's just human nature. We'll do anything to delay the inevitable as long as possible. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. <laughs> I understand, you know, the deadline is coming, but you still just want to have fun. <laughs> Sounds like I'm confessing something. Are you? You sounded, ser you sounded very serious. Did I? I'm a little stressed, but was it that obvious? A bit. I noticed Momiji isn't with you. Ah. Yeah, that's why I called you so- Oh, she's actually crying. Um... Momiji left the library! <laughs> you wanna tell me what happened? Will you s Hang on. There. <laughs> I'm more terrified of, of Serena, no more. Okay, now who's the more terrifying one? Serena or, uh... Shoot. How am I forgetting her name? Wiretap girl. Mm, I hate it. I'm gonna hate myself for this. Kotama! Kotama! Mm. <laughs> Don't pat the little- no, look, she's cr do you not see how sad she is? She's feeling bad about it, and she's crying. Helena Meta. That wasn't even an option, but I'm pretty sure that would be more terrifying, because she'd be watching you from another dimension. <laughs> that would be terrifying, she just shows up at- at Shale, and she's like, hi. <laughs> she's just like, <laughs> hey, Shikika. <laughs> You're just like, wait, what? Why are you here? What are you doing? We need you back home. Wait, no! <laughs> well, you see. Yeah, she probably would. Now that we know about the whole, like, she, he can just close his eyes and the, the two of them can talk with each other is a different thing. Well, it's a bit more different. It's a bit more complex than that, but simplistic. Sim if you make it simple enough, then yeah. Man, I think you're in the wrong on this one. What? Why are you taking her side? I mean, after I did wonder if I went a little too far. But I'm a creator too, I just started stated my professional opinion. The story was lacking. It's nothing to get angry about. Well, I suppose someone might think differently. And I did reflect on it. It's not like I didn't. Do you two argue often? Not that often. Sure, we disagree from time to time. But Momiji and I just had different opinions on things. In a job like this, you can't, you can't not have strong opinions. It seems like any other disagreement we've had, I figured we would make up eventually. I think the only thing I would really say to this is, yeah, you can have your own opinions, but there's a difference between having your opinion and saying this is the way. It's part of the reason why, like, the appeal to authority argument is such a bad argument. Because it comes off as arrogant. Especially when it's used by people that don't necessarily have that kind of credibility. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, um, I found I, I found fun, fun of funny what the last Blue, Blue Archive Four comment shows Meta was stacked. Sta oh, I don't. Know. Okay, that's an interesting thing to point out, I guess. <laughs> I was like, stacked? What? I was like, no, I was like, that's loaded, not stacked. <laughs> Ruby Dragon returned after two years. Don't think I know what that is, sadly. Or at least I'm not exactly sure why. I'm, I don't know. Anyway. But Momiji isn't answering her phone. I don't know what to do. I've never seen Momiji that angry, and she's never run out of the library like that. 
What should I do, Sensei? Why don't you try being honest and apologizing? Yeah, but how is she gonna reach her? If I thought that would work, I would have I wouldn't have called you, Sensei. It's always been like this. Nothing I say gets through to her. Hm? You disagree. These are basically the same thing. And if that doesn't work, I'll step in and help. This isn't some story in a novel. There's no way a sincere apology is enough. I mean, even if it were a novel, people would say it was shallow, too, uh, too shallow, simplistic even. There is a reason the phrase "keep it simple, stupid" is is a thing. You don't need to write a paragraph or write a whole novel that as an apology. Well, then what do you think you should do, Matter? Talking to her isn't enough. I need a more methodical approach. Some kind of reconciliation formula. Well, I mean... She does... She's looking for a limited edition thing. You could try to... Maybe that's the... Is that the whole story? Is that really it? <laughs> no way is that the story. So they go to Comic Cat to find the limited edition volume that she wants. <laughs> She being Momiji. I mean... <laughs> if it's not exactly one-to-one, -one, that's pretty close. But it's probably something like that. Anyway, look at some kind of reconciliation formula. Luna. Hmm. Brain blast. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The file volume, tw volume 22, took kind of a turn, but I just wanted to know why there's no final volume to wrap up the story. That, yeah, it's like if you're gonna make a, if you're gonna make Luna such a big important plot point, then it absolutely has to do with the story. That's it. That's it. I know what to do. I thought I'd check in and see how that idea of yours is working out, Meta. Great. It's like this. You know how Mommy G and I fought over the Luna story. Well, after that, I did some research. It turns out that the reason nobody can get the final volume is because sales at the time were terrible, so they only printed a few copies of it. Now, there's extremely, now they're extremely rare, so much so that it's known as the Elusive Luna Volume 22. If I can get my hands on a copy of the final volume, Momiji will have to forgive me. I don't know if it's for- will have to, but it's probably going to be a huge thing to help. It's a perfect plan. I'm sure it'll work. That might be a bit extreme, but I could go- eh, whatever. It's the same thing, basically. You're awfully quiet, Sensei. I guess that means you have no objections. No, 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 it's fine. We're going to go to Comic Con, right? Cool, I'll help you with that. Meanwhile, later. Go man Yuka, I just bought 16 figures. All of my money gone. <laughs> help. <laughs> ah, you miss them. You always understand me. I'm so glad I've asked for your help, Sensei. No, I just had to figure out how to get my hands on such a rare book. At least we have a goal. If I take it one step at a time, I'm sure a solution will come to me. Our quest to complete the Luna set starts now. Your first thought was to go outdoors. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what are these options? <laughs> Since they do it to crying emoji, I would hope not. <laughs> She's touching ground. I, uh, you know what? I'm not as shut in. Sure, I prefer the indoors, but I mean, she's not as bad. She probably, she's not as bad as Yui, is she? I know when it's time to go out and get some fresh air. Now our first stop should be here. Also, also they're in wood, red winter. Did you guys see gra grass doko? Gra uh, this is not grass. That does not count. 
Grass doko. <laughs> Grass lives under the snow. I mean, that's... <laughs> No touching bit. Okay, fair. <laughs> I've been here in ages. Smells just like I remember. Why does... Smells? Smells? I feel like I should be worried. <laughs> I just said the name of the stream title. <laughs> what is this place? It's the whole street dedicated to used books. The knowledge... Okay. Knowledge Liberation Front comes here all the time. You see, these aren't your typical bookstores. They're spe they specialize in rare and out-of-print books. Oh, that's what you mean. It doesn't matter how old a book is or what it's about. You can find it here. Just be careful. This place is pretty cutthroat. They eat newbies like you for breakfast. That's a... That's a terrifying. <laughs> I guess you never got the memo about the industry's dark side, huh, Sensei? I can explain. I mean, there's a lot of dark sides that we've been around. Kaiser. The first thing you need to know is that... It is that everything here is marked up like crazy because sellers expect to negotiate. So they love it when even naive buyers come around. Then there's the fact that they're, that not everything they're selling is strictly legal or safe. S s s safe? Safe. The strictly legal part and get safe? What do you mean? Am I gonna open up a book and it, and it explodes? Is there a booby trap in the book? <laughs> We'd caught major problems if the authorities caught wind. <coughs> Not safe for. Oh. Okay, fair. And no regulation means the less reputable sellers try to pass off fakes to unsuspecting buyers. You want to know why we, we come here anyway? Well, regardless of quality or legality or even safety, it's better for. This makes it sound like it's actually a threat to your little being. It's better for collectors to keep it than let it end up in a landfill somewhere, right? I mean, I think I still have my own share. I have like a bunch of comics that are like easily 20 plus years old. So I, I get that. And last, if all you're doing is window shopping, no one will bother you. And with that, here we are, the shop that will have the final volume of Luna. But this place can get pretty rough. It's a wild west in there. Survival of the fittest, so you should probably hold my hand for safe. Wait, no. Um, oh, hold, hand, hold, hand, hand holding. Hand holding! I'm not sure I'd call a bookshop the Wild West, matter dear. Deer? What? Uh, anyway. <laughs> they would use the same background for this. Why does this book have library on it? Oh, that probably came from a library, and they forgot to remove the tag. Okay. Let's start searching, okay? Volume 22 of Luna, here we come. We've been searching for three hours now? If you want to find a needle in a haystack, you have to do a lot of looking. That said, I think we've done all we can on this side of the street. Let's go to the next place. <laughs> and holding in public. <laughs> I bet you didn't notice this alley before, did you? If we go through here, it's a tight squeeze, but the bookshop through here has some really old stuff. If that book is anywhere, it'll be there. I'm afraid we failed our mission, Captain Meru. How? My plan was perfect. After that last thing, Hanji event probably you <laughs> Feels like we're back to square one. This is ridiculous. All that searching and we still don't have a clue where to find it? Remember said that she was elusive. But this is beyond my expectations. Luna is a quite formidable opponent. I thought I recognized your voice. How unfortunate that I ran into you here. Meruri? Meruri? A voice! Homst!
Oh. Hi. Forehead incoming, what? <laughs> it's been quite some time, how are you? Meruri is Mary's pen, oh right. That would make sense, actually. Hawk the hand, do it. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> She's like Jesse from Team Rocket. <laughs> this jerk. Ah, childish name calling from a self proclaimed author. How predictable. Perhaps you should consult a thesaurus the next time you attempt to insult me, Mitteri. You might be more successful. I don't need one. Besides, any thesaurus you think is good would probably give me nightmares. That was a classy joke for you, Mitteri. Perhaps this this one self. <laughs> you will deign to give you a compliment. You'll die. <laughs> okay? Will you? You know, those high credit words make you sound more snooty than sophisticated. Ah, so you can read between the lines. Very good, I was worried you wouldn't understand. Girls, please. <laughs> That's enough, both of you. All this sniping isn't healthy. That's enough, both of you. Oh, and who might this be? Oh, that's right. This is your first time meeting, Takane. Why don't I introduce you? It's such a shame that you'd be the one to introduce us. However, I can't very well ask you to introduce yourself. Very in such impropriety is beneath me. Is it? In that case... <laughs> is it? <laughs> in that case, I'll be perfectly happy to let you get down on your knees and tearfully beg us for your... Beg us to forgive your arrogance. God, too far. Quit that. You can just shoot at people every time you get mad. You know, this is why no one likes you. <laughs> well, that. And nobody wants to be friends with a sarcastic know it all. Henry, honey, you're no different than I am. You're the fledgling author who finally joined a club event only to be ignored by everyone involved. You had to pretend you. Didn't care just to save face. I'm warning you if you say one more word. Ahem. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Right. This is. Shots fired. Yes, literally. Oh. My, oh my. I'm positively delighted to finally meet you, Sensei. I've heard so much about it. What is this? This is like an Aru face right here. This is this borderlines Aru level face. My name is Miyoshi Takane. I work in Red Winter's publishing department, writing reviews about new works for the Red Bear. Publishing department? Yes, it's an exclusive club for students at Red Winter who wish to dedicate themselves to the fields of writing and publication. Not to boast, but I'm proud to share that. As a reviewer, I have read and reviewed every book published out of the Red Winter. And yet you boast. Next time you have a moment, you should stop by the publishing department. Don't you dare invite Sensei ignore me. I have first dibs. What? Why do I... F I don't... L I don't know how to feel about that comment. Curious. I assumed you were so determined to remain a recluse that you wouldn't crawl out of your den, but here you are. Ooh, this is how this event's gonna be, just venom, vinegar, salt, and everything thrown at each other. I do, but smart and sassy, I see. You, I, there is no, there is such a thing as site visits, you know. Isn't that something you usually at? Whoops. usually ask your assistant to do for you. Ah, oh, but I don't see her right now. Oh, right. Tell me, where is Momiji? Uh, that's... She had other engagements today. Since one of the two of you apart, you're together so often, I started to think you were joined at the hip. Uh-huh. What's wrong, Mary? 
You're uncharacteristically silent all of a sudden. Where are your where where are your signature brush retorts? If I'm being completely honest, I'm a touch concerned. You should be grateful that I care. On second thought, don't thank me. I'd rather not see you grovel. Just commit to one mood or the other. This flip flopping is tires. It kind of is. You're making little girls fight over teachers again. <laughs> Stop fighting over Sensei Wakamo has him. <laughs> the books that come out of Red Winter. You said you've read them all. Yes, but again, I don't mean to brag. This is what it's like when you're not bragging. Does that mean you're familiar with Luna? Luna? Yes, I'm familiar with the work. Why are you and uh, Meduri so interested in it? We're looking for the final volume. The infamous final volume of Luna. She's like, ah, I see. Why is she always smug? Is this just her naturally? I see, and right when Momiji is nowhere to be found. Well, it pains me to be right, but I knew this would happen someday, Meruri. What? You heard me. Look at how you conduct your personal affairs. Honestly, I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. You have the audacity to criticize my personal life? You, who criticizes everything and everyone and talks in circles and so no one can understand you. I'll have you know that criticism is an art form. I see perspectives others can't. I shine a light on otherwise unappreciated works. It's high time you understood that. Good, it's like you would be nowhere without creators like me. You both kind of need each other, alright? If, if a creator doesn't exist, reviewers have nothing that they can do. If, if, if reviewers don't exist... If reviewers don't give good reviews, creators never get anywhere. <laughs> it's not that hard, people! Meta as the gremlin needs her monthly what? Nonsense. A good review makes a work of art shine. What would a good novel be without someone to read it? It's a bunch of red winner nonsense on par with President Shannon's propaganda. Nonsense or not, it's true. Okay, okay, that's enough. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, okay, come on. All right. I understand your situation, Sensei. Though I don't know why you're determined to help such an antisocial creature. <laughs> now you're comparing me to a wild animal. Here's the bottom line, Sensei. The final volume of Luna, Volume 22, has a very complicated history. It won't simply turn up because you're dead set on finding it. What the heck does that mean? You know what? You seem to know a lot about Luna. I bet you're looking for it too and you're trying to throw us off the scent. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Stop asking a bunch of questions at once. Didn't anyone ever teach you how to hold a conversation? <laughs> Can you shut up too? You both are pretty bad at it. Oh, I'm about to give you important instructions, Minerdy. Visit the publishing department. Huh? Why there? Because there is a clue to finding Luna Volume 22 there. If you want to find Volume 22, this is how you do it. Wait, what? Be going now. I do hope I have another opportunity to see you, Sensei. Without Minerdy around. That's the last straw, you... <laughs> These two are just gonna keep fighting over and over again. <laughs> Hey, well, wait, wait! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Publishing, reprinting, and distribution. This is actually, like, this is actually kind of funny how these two just go back and forth. This isn't how she is with everybody, is shit? There's no way. It's a Takane to talk nonsense. I'm still not convinced she was actually helping us. At least she gave us a clue, right? Yeah, that was unusual. Do you think Takane knows something about Luna that we don't? I don't know, but we should definitely visit the publishing department. I hate to admit it, but I think she gave us decent advice. The publishing department has information about every book ever published in Red Winter. They're sure to have something about Luna, too. 
I mean, that's the case. Edit freeze? Oh, no, it didn't. It's fine. Might have just had a hiccup for a second. This is the publishing department? Oh, God, these things. Part of the part of the place I work at deals with these machines. I swear one of these things jams every other day. And for some reason I have to <laughs> for some reason my department has to look at it. It's like that's not us. Anyway. Yeah, most of the books but best waifu incoming. Uh oh. Big toilet paper. Well, that's a... <laughs> okay. That's a way to use it. Most of the books distributed by Red Winter Academy are made here. That's amazing. I feel like this is a little bit big of a paper. I might want to slice that in half just to use it for book. But you guys can handle it. <laughs> half the time, all we do is go to the machine, push the power button, push it and then push it again and it fixes itself. The only other time we, we do it is when, f is when we realize that it's not simply turning it off, turning it back on again, and then the facilities group has to get involved and then they have to like get out a whole bunch of tools to open the thing up and then look at it. Like literally, half the time they're like, oh, the printer doesn't work. Did you turn it off? Did you turn it back on again? No. Well, can you do that for us real quick? I'm going to push the wrong button. It's right there. <laughs> oh gosh. Have you hit it? This We're not doing percussive maintenance. Though people have done that in the past. And... <laughs> Okay, there was a guy, <laughs> I had a call a while back ago. This guy called in and said his keyboard wasn't working. This is back when I did service desk stuff. And I'm like, okay, uh, what kind of, what do you mean by not working? Like, is it just like none of the keystrokes are working? He's like, yeah, none of it's working. He's like, okay. Um, I, I was like, is it wired or wireless? And he's like, it's it's wireless. And I said, okay, um, have you replaced the battery recently? Yes. Is it turned on? Yes. Okay, I'll be over there in a second. I go over there. And I look at him, and I say, you know, it would be really nice if you included that the keyboard was bit in half. And then I walked out and got him another keyboard. He told me he was really mad because he was talking to a client on a phone and then when he hung up he slammed his keyboard against his desk and it bent it in half. He hit it so hard. He's lucky that we buy, when we get keyboards we buy them in bulk. So there's like, we go into our closet and there's like 200 some keyboards just sitting in there waiting to be used. I'll come to working service desk. I have way worse stories than that. But I don't know if I can even talk about some of them on stream. <laughs> keyboard needs a restraining. No, it's gone. Like the hardware. I, I took the keyboard to our hardware guy that we have, who actually like tries to repair like circuits and stuff, because that's what he does. He's the, he's the guy that like. I know there's the whole thing about like companies don't like that people will try to fix their own stuff. Don't personally, I think that's not a bad thing. If you know how to do it, do it. It'll save you a lot of money. And this guy does that kind of stuff. But when he saw the keyboard, he's like, I can't even repair this. The guy bit the circuit board in half and all half the trend, half to like half of the stuff that's, I don't even know what it was, transistors or whatever the stuff was on the circuit boards weren't even connected anymore. And he couldn't connect them. Like there's only so much he can do with soldering. There's only so much he could have done. He's just like, no, this thing's gone. There's nothing. Throw it to the trash can. 
Anyway, amazing is one word for it. Let's let's go off this tangent. They've been known to print some pretty unusual stuff, and I mean really unusual. They also do favors for the Knowledge Liberation Front when we need to print our newsletter. It's not exactly a fringe organization, but is this best? Is this the best wife coming here that people have been talking about in chat? I can hear you even when you're quiet, you know. Whomst? Oh. Ah, here she is. Yes, yes, the Dredge Publishing Department head is here. I don't know what he brings you this way, but it's nice to finally meet you, Meru. Or, should I call you, Meruri? Meru is just fine, Yakumo. You're the head of... The Publishing Department, yes. We handle everything related to books. Printing, binding, packaging, management, sales, and business expansion. I'm Aramaki Yakumo. I'm also re I've, I also manage the Red Bear. <laughs> I think I've seen it before. Is it this Chenino's propaganda? Oh! <laughs> I feel like we've. I feel. I feel like this is gonna. I, no, I got. I gotta see it, Chad. I have to see it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I. I expected something else, but it's whatever. Just then, a sheet of paper fluttered past. I condemn abominable mustaches who throw away yogurt lids without. Li what? <laughs> what is this? I condemn abominable mustaches who throw away yogurt lids without licking them. What? What animal is she? Uh, I'm. The ears make me think a rabbit of some a rabbit or bunny of some sort. But I could be wrong. <laughs> Down with the abominable mustache. Is this another flyer? Wow, you print stuff like this? You print both channel propaganda and flyers denounce it. <laughs> is, it, is it okay to print them at the same time? That's actually funny. Well, it probably saves the space. It's not necessarily a corner cut, but it's just being efficient. <laughs> it's okay to print both at the same time. Why wouldn't I? It doubles my sale. Is exactly what I was thinking. It also cuts down the amount of uh, resources you're using. 5G, 5D chess player right here. This makes me think bunny, but this could be something like bunny or rabbit of some sort. Donkey is also possible, but I feel like she's a little too... I feel like a donkey's ears are a bit more pronounced than that. This is these kind of feel like they're too low. Cause there's like I've seen like girls like rabbit girls drawn with ears like this. I think Rabby Ribby was one such example. I think. Or oh wait no, there's a few Toho characters I think that are like this up in the rabbit group. Is it uh, is it Udonke? Hang on, is it Udonke? No, right? Udonke definitely not. It's one of the ones within her. Oh shoot, what was their names? One of them has like a yellow shirt. Kyoko, isn't she? I thought she's a dog though. Ringo, yeah, Ringo. I think Ringo's ear aren't Ringo's ears like that? Yeah, Ringo's got ears like this. He's gonna notice the tail. I mean, it's kind of hard to see. It's too hard to see down here. But this would definitely say it's not. A, I mean, it looks. Well, at that point, that's definitely not a rabbit tail. 
Wouldn't a donkey's be kind of, isn't a donkey's tail really thin though? So it's definitely not a donkey. So I don't know what kind of animal she's based off of. Could be a dog. Possible. I wouldn't, I doubles my sales. Take the red bear, for example. If we include both a feature praising President Chirino and a caricature of President Chirino, we'll hit readers on both sides of the aisle. Why choose one when you can make a profit off both? <laughs> That's one way to look at it, but the logic is a little tough to follow. I'll take that as a compliment. So, what shall I call you? Sensei. That's who you are. Ahem. Apologies, I nearly lost my composure. I pride myself on being the laid-back head of publishing. Anyway, welcome to the publishing department, Sensei. I've heard so many amazing things about you that I started to wonder if you were even real. You know we need a feature for the next issue of The Red Bear. Why don't we run a special interview featuring Sensei's tour of the publishing department? No. <laughs> <laughs> I almost, I'm not gonna lie, I, I immediately almost defaulted to the Fallout 4 sarcasm when Piper tries to interview you. Here's your headline, local man says no. <laughs> I love sarcasm and Fallout 4 is great. <laughs> That guy had way too much fun voice acting those lines. <laughs> My personal favorite still is, So are you ready to get to work? No, I followed you down the stairs for exercise. <laughs> oh, come on, you can trust us. You benefit from it too, you know. I acknowledge Liberation Front regularly misses deadlines, but has, has an ambiguous fan base and prints all kinds of strange material. The publishing department, however, has a solid capital, publicity, and strong backing from the Secretariat office. Fall for Star kind of Oh, it's so great. It is so good. <laughs> is that whole Secretariat office thing supposed to be a secret? Oops, I got caught up in the sales pitch. Just pretend you didn't hear that a little tidbit. Now, let's continue with the story. We're here because we need some information. Oh, a deal, is it? I help you, and you grant me a few a favor in return. Wait, quit pro I mean, yes, fair. How good we have an understanding, after all. Though you're quite naughty, Sensei. If you had a deal in mind, you should have said so and avoided all this confusion. What does being naughty have anything to do with this? It just means... What? Never mind. Clean out your ears, Giacomo, since I didn't say anything like that. Oh, it's not like that? No, never. Minute come Did I did I miss something? <laughs> Where did I get <laughs> Did I miss something? Does this have to do with um, the only thing I can think of is like the chapter F like rumor that well, I mean, it wasn't really a rumor, was it? Um, and then the only other way I could think of it would be the <laughs> the poor Gana, uh prefect team shenanigans. I made it calm down. I'm asking Sensei what they meant, not you. If you answer our questions, I'll do your interview. Sensei, you'll be skinned alive for agreeing to that. Excuse me, but skinned alive. I meant that figuratively, not literally, of course. Ah, fine. The publishing department doesn't work with the li with leather anyway. What? Huh? <laughs> I, I I'm glad to know that story me and uh, real me have the exact same reaction. Well, anyway, let's get to the point. The point being Luna. Ah, uh, yes, Luna. Did we... Did we ever say anything about Luna? I guess technically, what's her name could have 
Tak Takane could have just mentioned it. Never mind. I was like, she knew about that already? Huh. Okay. Name sounds familiar, or like, it feels like a black cat is staring at me. It's bandana flapping in the breeze from the far recesses of my memory. That sounds rather dangerous. Haha, <laughs> I know why. That name reminded me of a similar story. Really? Yes, it was a comic published ages ago. I doubt it's still around. Anyway, that's why I couldn't remember the right one. Ah, yes, it's coming back to me now. Why don't you go to the publishing department? Takani said we should come here for... When did we talk about Luna? I don't know why this bothers me. Faded screen. Was it a faded screen? I, I I got so blindsided by the fact that they mentioned Luna. I didn't even think about it. <sighs> never. It doesn't matter. I mean, it really doesn't. No, but it's one of those things where it's like it was never brought up. Yet she knows about it. I thought Takane would have said something about it, but then her asking this question about why did we come here? Well, Takane told us to. So there's a there's a hole here. Anyway, Takane said we should come here for a clue. Really, Takane. When you walked in, Yakumo could have stopped. That's probably true. That probably is. Who knows? Alright, anyway. <laughs> so, could you give us a clue? Right, a clue. Certainly. Something Sensei and Mary would find interesting. Perhaps even fascinating. Yes, yes, what is it? Well, I don't know much about the last volume of Luna. But don't worry. I still got juicy info for you. Then quit beating around the bush and tell us! Luna boasts a very old, very delicate fandom. It is alive in Red Winter even now. They still meet occasionally. They're pretty lively most of the time. Fandom still meets over their shared love of Luna? Fans that still gather even at the work center? Is that normal Red Winter? And this? No, it isn't. I mean, sure, once the work is complete, you might hear people talking about it from time to time. But if fans are talking about it, and even rallying around it. I mean... There are probably plenty of people who are still very much... Uh, I don't think this is as weird as, it, as she thinks it is. Well, not every work is good enough to earn that kind of dedication. Yes, the comic has qu quite a history. But, I'm like sitting here thinking, what, what would be a good example? And I'm sitting here thinking, I was about to say Ruby, but I was like, wait, no. And then I was like, oh, right. Uh, F and chat. Because <laughs> Ruby technically is, well... Oof. <laughs> That's kind of sad, really. <laughs> anyway. You don't know, do you? Uh, actually, I do. What? How? I thought for sure you'd tell us you had no idea. Well, I am rather well informed. I have quite the network of sources, after all. After all, we are the publishing department, no matter what anyone thinks of us. But earlier you said you couldn't remember that as w that well. I said it was hard to remember quickly, and not that I don't remember at all. Yeah, I was, was going to say that's, that's probably what she was going to say there. Anyway, about the time and place. What is it? What is it? <laughs> not so fast. First, we need to discuss payment. I see you want to be compensated. Indeed. Now, come on, what are you going to ask Sensei to give you now? Not Sensei, Meru. I want something from you. Me? Yes, nothing major. I may ask you to provide a manuscript in the future. A manuscript? No way! None of the ones you've commissioned have been any good at all. No, then I suppose you don't need the information about Luna after all. I'm disappointed. The real version of Yeah, they, re they kind of really did. I think 2018 was the last time I really followed them. 
like it's been it's been a while since I've I've uh, I think I unsubscribed to them in 2018 2019. They just changed too much, or at least the, I, I follow Let's Play more so than than Rooster Teeth, and then I just kind of like and eh, nah. And then I started hearing about all the scandals, and I'm just like, oof. They peaked in, like, 14. That was probably their peak. It's unfortunate. Were you not interested in Ruby? Not really. I mean, I had people, like, I, I, I actually did like to practice, like, sketching the characters. I never really, uh, like, back when I had more time for drawing, I actually would draw out some of their characters. And I also would try to, th I did try to 3D model a few of their weapons, which were really cool. I did pretty good with the, uh, oh gosh, I have no idea. That, that... That file is probably buried somewhere in my computer. I used to have an old scythe that I was modeling. I think it was Ruby's weapon uh, herself. Anyway. Then I suppose you don't need the information about Luna. I'm disappointed. Uh. Ruby Chibi. Oh yeah, I heard about that one. Is this for Momiji? Yeah, I could do it for Momiji. That's good enough. You're already doing all these things for her. Okay, I'll do it. Are you sure you're okay with this deal, Mater? Yes, it's for Momiji. I can do this. Oh, such a beautiful display of camaraderie. It brings a tear to my eye. Mater. Wait, I have a condition. I have conditions. I don't- I won't do anything really weird. It has to fit my style and something I believe in. <laughs> don't worry about that. If the manuscript I want happens to align with Mater's preferences, that's then so much the better for us both. Now, I just need you to sign this contract agreeing that your tablet and pen are forfeit if you don't fulfill the end of your deal. Oh, jeez! That's a- that- that's not a- is that a really of equivalent value? But okay. It's so cruel. Yes, I suppose to a creator, an editor would seem cruel. Now, please. There's no negotiation at all? Oof. That's a- that's a stiff penalty. Does that mean I don't have to do anything? Ah, oh, why don't we discuss that later? I'll be more f it'll be more fun that way. I'm scared. Please be kind! <laughs> why are you laughing? No! No! Also, Manu should have read that. Hey, we're fighting. What armor are they? Ah, oh, they're heavies. Man, I can't use Megu. I'm sad. Oh, no, it's... D I guess I only have Megu. The negotiations were short, it seems so. So, what does this conflict have to do with anything? Jeez, <laughs> alrighty! What kind of gun do you have? What is that? Are you using a sawed off? Is that a sawed off shot, like, shotgun she's running? What is that? It's got two barrels. No, I don't think- is it a pistol? Pistol with the silencer, yeah, you, no, you, you- she's literally breech loading it right there! <laughs> er, yeah, break action. Yeah, that's what I mean, is what is this weapon? What is that weapon? This is a two-tone TP-82.
Who made this? Why? It's an out of service triple barrel circuit combination gun. Wait, what? Is this the result of somebody having too much vodka before they actually go and make a gun? <laughs> I like how this photo right here says it's it's a TP82, yet it, yet the picture is an AUG. So <laughs> I don't believe you, sir. Did you show us which one? Uh, hang on. <laughs> TP82. I'm pretty sure this is an AUG. for cosmonauts to protect themselves after landing in Siberia before getting- Oh, I thought- I heard cosmonauts and I thought all- I, I thought that was gonna be like a, in case- in case aliens attack them in space and they will go flying. <laughs> That's what I'm just like, why is there an AUG there? <laughs> I've actually been thinking about getting a specific, uh... Yeah, let me see what it's actually called. I, I I I don't know if I should be showing too many of these on YouTube because I know I know there's kind of a yabe about it. So let me look it up again. I have been considering. I've been looking between uh, a Keltec that I've been looking at for, I think it was a sub 2000? I'm gonna check. I'm still not, I'm still on the fence about it because I've been talking to people about it. Give me a second. Yeah, it's the sub, it's the, it's the Keltec sub 2K and the other one is the MNP as FPC. I've been really curious about both of those two because they're really, they both look kind of cool. Yeah, the foldables. One, uh, the Keltec folds upwards, so, like, the barrel literally bends, like, you could literally fold the gun upwards onto itself. The other one folds sideways. So, like, the Keltec is, I've, I've used the Keltec, it's actually kind of nice. Um, sighting it was a pain because the sight we had, um, was incredibly lousy, and I, I, I know which one that is, and I'm not gonna get it. But, um, or at least the one he had was not that great. He was the frame, I don't remember. But I was like, the other one, the other one folds sideways, so I don't have to take the, the, like, sight off every single time and have to, you know, uh, you know, sight it for a hundred or however much I need to feel. But I always did find them cool. The, the FPC, though, it folds sideways, so I don't have to actually take the side off. I can leave it on, leave it perfectly in line and everything. And I can just, well, it probably will get a little bit jostled up in bags if I carry it or a box or whatever. For when I'm going from, you know, like, the range or whatever. But it's still a case where it's like, I don't want to have to deal with constantly having to adjust the sight every single time I go to, you know, the range. <laughs> That'd just be how it is. Anyway, I expected bears and rabbits, but attack drones? Where did they come from? Over the river and through the woods and up the snow. Sensei has lost his marbles, chat. He's lost his marbles. I envy your composure, Sensei. Oh no, this is nothing. We've been through way worse. Trust me, we've been shot. <laughs> 
You're singing to take your mind off your frozen fingers. I should have said something. Here, here's a hand warmer. Man, <laughs> I almost said Northern Parliament. Wrong, wrong, wrong game. Red Winter girls are just different. No need to thank me. Cold weather gear is essential to survive here in Red Winter. I'm glad we didn't have to go too deep into the mountains. Why are they meeting in such a remote place? We had marble. <laughs> oh, you would hope we do. Then, I mean, then again, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, this is Kivotos. The Knowledge Liberation Front's devotion and passion would be better spent. Kaboom. I made it. I got the new edition. Isn't it just a reprint of an old edition? Uh, objectively speaking, yes, but it's new to us. You know, since the first time we've we, You know, since it's the first time we're seeing it. Oh, don't worry about old or new. The influx of new knowledge enriches the heart either way. Never mind, forget it. Hey, Gozuji. Oh. It's literally a comic cat, okay. Go, cool, man. All right, not too bad. Can I ask something about the final story chapter? So, chapter F, you mean? Bad apple. What? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> No, no, that's stuck in my- No, you put it- It's in my head again! No! I think so. Oh, no, that song's stuck in my head. There really is a meeting. All the way out here. Look how many books there are. The displays are packed. Everyone here is either reading, buying, or selling. Yeah, reminds me of something I've seen before. No, there is a bad apple post. Oh my gosh, there! <laughs> I didn't look at the details! <laughs> I just saw better at all. No, I was looking at better at all! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I see it now. I see it. Look, you know we have to submit to the chicken. Bet, bet yeah, it's called Worst Pear. Or Good Orange. <laughs> Either that or evil cherry. <laughs> what is bad apple? If you have never really, uh... so in a way, it's a little. You have to know it be by being in the Toho community. I'd probably say it's the best way you're gonna know it. I don't think there's any other. There's a handful of times I've seen it cameo elsewhere. Like there is, uh, there was an old song that was released called "We Are Number One," and somebody did a a um, redo of that but it was in Japanese and then there's a part of it that just goes like it's perfectly trend it transitions perfectly into it but you're, you're sitting there listening to this song in Japanese and all of a sudden it goes straight into bad apple for no reason but it was hilarious but now, basically, like, it's a song in itself. Like, most people are gonna know it for the song that it is. It's pretty good. It's a pretty... Like, Toho as a, as a whole is a very interesting franchise. I need to try some of their newer games at some point. There's, like, so many different, like, renditions of it. Like, I think I've seen people do it in Minecraft. Some people do it in, uh... Like they did 8-bit versions of it. There's been MMD animations done of it. It's just crazy. We are Japanese go- oh no. I 
I can I can hear it. I can hear. It. I can I can, I can just look at this. Toho Megalore. I am not the best person for Toho lore. I am definitely not. Just get the <laughs> Okay, Toho peeps, what's your favorite character? I'm actually kind of curious. I am actually curious what, what the Toho peeps and chat's uh, favorite characters are. Anyway, I'm gonna continue while you guys do that. Oh, Meadow, look, is this? Yes, what did you find? Wait, is that what I think it is? The final volume of Luna? Oh, but it has a sample written on it. Oh, of course, the full book is probably hidden away somewhere. Tokiko. Tenko. Actually, you know what the funny thing is? I just realized one of the characters I like is actually na her name is being used in this event. Flandre. <laughs> Pacholi, you mean? Okay. So here's the fun thing. For those that did not know, my uh, my uh, channel icon is a reference to Doho. I'm sure some people have probably figured it, or just thought maybe, but it is a Toho reference in itself. I just- I, I don't actually know if a lot of people knew that, though. I don't see it. Nine ball. It's the Cherno thing. The circle with the nine. I, used, I didn't use the exact color palette, but I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna make it like that. I wanted to make it somewhat like a, ch like a channel reference. Cause I, so like, originally, originally, I was supposed to, I was gonna do like H2O, and then I realized I can't do that, because there's somebody whose name is H2O. So that didn't work. So I was just like, okay, well, uh, um, I'm just gonna do this instead, because this works. When I came on your channel, it was because of Ale, and I was and was due to that, so I'm home. No, it's fine. It's fine, Katsu. You don't have to. You don't have to know everything. Yeah, Ace Delirious, exactly. I didn't know who that person was. Then I learned who Vanos was, and then that's that. That was a whole rabbit hole in itself. Anyway, of course, this book, the full book, is probably hidden away somewhere. Oh, customers, thank you for coming. Please take a look around. What about your student? The seller is thanking us for coming. I could get used to this. Meru, please. Let's take a look at this, Sensei. It might be just the final volume, Luna, of Luna that we've been looking for. Dihydrogen monoxide. <laughs> you want Fumo? Which one? That looks like Reimu. Yeah, uh. Ha oh, shoot. Harutsuki. Harutsuki. Yeah, I remember that. Harutsuki. It's like a really young, really, really, really young looking man. With guns. <laughs> now I have Neko Miko Reimu stuck in my head again. You guys, you Toho people are driving me insane. <laughs> Time for me to go to bed. It's fun to your stream. <laughs> Alright, see you, Hane. Have a good one. Well, since I've read a really good book. Two of came together with a shrink combined. They faced their final enemy. Wait. No, 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 wait. Something about this isn't right. Luna is supposed to be a romance. According to Momiji, there's love, life, punk themes, a band, movies, and stuff like that. Why are they suddenly in a big battle scene? Does it matter? It's a good story. Yes, the layout and story are certainly impressive. Oh, gosh. Don't tell me she's going to start a fight with all the Luna fanatics. Oh, no. Still, the style doesn't match the themes of Luna. None of it makes sense or fits th with the rest of the story. Okay, 
hang on, give me a second, since some people aren't able to connect it. I got, I'm gonna have to use... Give me a second. Cherno is, is associated with a nine ball. Just part of how she is. Mostly because she's an idiot, but that's why she's with a nine ball all the time. But that was pretty much, that, that's pretty much all, like it's, there's nothing deep to it. I knew it was a nine ball joke. Cerno actually is one of my one of my more hilarious characters I like. But that nothing uh, just because she's an idiot. That's really the main reason why. It's kinda like how I like all the dork characters. Like how could are you, who I still am somewhat contemplating. But that's why. <laughs> it it's not that deep. <laughs> but no, I was like, I'm just gonna do a, a, a Toho theme because or a Toho uh, a, a Toho reference, because that's what I wanted to do. Zoom said stupid on the manual discern. Yeah, nine. Nine. I think the number nine has to do with idiot or something. It's kind of like how eight, like eight when you use, when it's used a lot, is like patch, 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 patch. So it's like the onomatopoeia for clapping. I think eight has another symbolic. Anyway. Wait a second. There's another Luna here. This one's called, this one's titled Luna's Finale. So no, it's perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no bus in Genzoki, or, or was it? Yeah, it was bus. <laughs> oh, now I need to go listen to Iosis again. And now everyone that know, everyone that now has heard me say that word is now gonna pull them up <laughs> because it's Iosis. There's another one? But that would mean... Here, this one is a sample too. Please, let's read it. We're going into fan fiction. In the end, the two Lunas went their separate ways. No, 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 this isn't right. At least this one was about love, life, punk themes, that band, and movies, and everything it's supposed to be, but Luna's story plots are always about accepting each other's flaws and reconciling. Hmm, hey, Maru! <laughs> they just completely threw that out the window and wrote a farewell. Yeah, it was such a sad story. Yes, the writing was good, and it pulled all the right heartstrings. <laughs> She's not aware. That's hilarious. It was out. It was outstanding. But there's no way that's how the final volume of Luna is supposed to go. This one is titled Lunaless. Lunaless? No Lun? No Lunas? Is every volume, final volume of Luna displayed here different? I hope not, but based on what I'm seeing, that's the only conclusion I can make. Sensei, wait. Don't look at the sample by yourself. Let's read it together. I'm scared that we're gonna accidentally look at a bad one. We're reading that kind of fast. No one ever found out what happened to the two Lunas, but we carry on starting a new life inspired by their sacrifice. That's the ending. No, I refuse to accept this. This must have been a it must have a definite and <laughs> definitive ending. This came completely out of left field. It doesn't fit the rest of the story at all. It's just an epilogue of an epilogue of an epilogue. But wasn't the art really good? Yes, the art was amazing. A few panels even came across as a homage to the classic art, classical art. But that's not the point. Pretty panels don't make it a mount manga. It's about the story, appropriate ending. It's like they ignored the part where most were most curious about and drew whatever ending they wanted. Look, Mary, there's a copy of Luna over there too. Don't bother, Sensei. It'll be just like the rest. I know what this place is, what all these Luna volumes are. Found something you like. 
you know we're running a special, a free illustration with any book. In fact, why don't you take a look at the latest edition? It was just released. Sales of G Luna are limited to one book per person. Please wait your turn. We're at an official Luna convention. This is all fanfic. What? Medu, I don't understand. So... Let me bet Mummy G wrote them all. That would be hilarious. I see. Luna's fans organized a massive meetup. So all these Luna endings is just what they think might have happened? Exactly. Everything here is fan fiction. Their idea of what the final volume could have or should have been. Whatever they can dream up, it could be a fantastical, counter to the original plot, or an epilogue of an epilogue. As fan fiction, here at the convention, anything goes. So fans recreate their own version of the final volume of Luna. Yeah, that's why every single one of them is different and the interpretations stray so far from the original. Some of them are purely the product of the author's own desire. Isn't desire what inspires amazing creations? Sometimes. Why are you trying so hard to justify this, Sensei? Yes, I suppose that makes sense, whether clumsy or eloquent. Each volume proves one thing above all else. The fans here have a true and undying love for Luna. But why do they have this event? Why would everyone create their own final volume of Luna? Oh. So you found your way here after all, Meruri. That face. Huh? There's not enough super robot dungeon. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I completely forgot we had combat earlier. <laughs> she does seem like a Desua type character. I, I have no doubt that she's a Desua type. Feels like we have we've, we've been we've gone through so much story and it's only the fifth chapter. Jeez. So you found your way here after all, Meruri. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Takane. Hello, Sensei. I hope you've been well. I only half expected you to run into you two. A little surprised to see you here, but I'm glad too. You're glad? Did you actually mean for me to hear that? What do you think? You mean to tell me that you sent us to the publishing department, hoping we'd end up here? Mm hmm Your desperate quest to find the final volume of Luna for Momiji was always hopeless. Volume 22 of Luna never existed. But I've seen listings for it on the internet. There aren't many, but there are... Or there are there. Uh, not there are. Anything you find on the internet will m be more of these stories here. Luna is a masterpiece. It dominated an era and was an incredible hit, but it has some bad luck. It had... yeah, 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 that's, I think that's what the people were saying. I don't know, like, I feel like the best way to... to if you're unless you're making something that's entirely your own IP or something, it's more fun to take what's already existing in a, in a franchise and just build off of it. Like, branch off of it. But, or like at least go with what's known that way it's not too unfamiliar to people and then you know figure out a way to not only make it a branch off but then also ref uh, reference it back to the original content like that's also what makes it a lot more fun because it's more fun for the uh, writer to be like how can I tie this into with the story without making it seem too way out there These chapters are large. Yeah, they really are. They're not bad, though. They're pretty fun. Anyway, Luna is a masterpiece. It dominated an era and was an incredible hit. The saddest thing about Luna is that the final volume was never released. Why is that? As I said, Luna made a splash, but over time, the market lost interest. Really, it didn't get a fair review at the time. There was never actually anything wrong with the story, but it broached topics that the audience wasn't ready for, so it got mixed reviews. But that's a tale as old as time, isn't it? True masterpieces aren't recognized until well after their time. I can't imagine I can't imagine Luna is the only work to suffer that faint. Well, I mean it depends. It depends on the medium, really. Certain things are hits as soon as they're released, but that's just the way it was. 
I'm old enough to remember people were lining up at bookstores for the uh, for every single Harry Potter book that released. Like that was a that was a thing in my and when I was a kid. I never actually read the books. My mom was a huge fan of them. I read other books like the Inheritance series, which I'm still sad they butchered Aragon as a movie. At least they didn't mess up Ender Game that bad. I'll take it. <laughs> I remember GameStop lines on release night. I've seen those, yeah. I never took part in them because I was like, I don't... Like, that was usually on a Thursday for like... Because uh, that was back... Like, I, I would see those all the time when, you know, Call of Duty would release because that was back when Call of Duty was good. I'm sure it's okay now, but it's... It, it can't me It can't hit that peak it hit back then. Is getting weird over the years, so is it? The spoiler boys with the megaphones outside the Harry Potter. No, 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 we weren't that bad. Like I remember, um, I, this is this is hilarious. Uh, we, uh, my my sister and I and my dad weren't that at all interested in getting the book, so uh, we had to go there for my mom anyway because she wanted to get the book. So we waited for a bit, and our dad was like, "All right, you know what? They're being good." So we got a Wii the same time my mom got her, herself a book. And we were like, Wii, we can play this now. We went home and learned... We went home and immediately learned how how much of a banger Wii Sports is. <laughs> my mom's sitting there reading the book in the in the... In the same room while we're busy trying to not throw the Wii mode at the TV while playing bowling. <laughs> anyway, but <laughs> as a critic, I know that better than anyone else. It's why I try so hard to read and critique as much as I possibly can. So you knew all along that I would never find the final volume. Then why would you use such a roundabout way of telling me? I wanted to test you, Meredith. You have so much pride and you don't work to build any relationships since you were searching for the final volume of Luna. I thought doing this, getting you here, would force you to go outside your comfort zone. In other words, you knew how desperate I was and thought I'd submit to anything. Is that about right? Yes, and I was right. You came all the way here and I'm so I am sorry you got dragged into this, Sensei. I don't mind. I mean you wanted to help make them make amends, didn't you? Yeah, I'll say that one. You show such kindness and generosity. You're nothing like this prideful, spiteful artist. <laughs> she really has Aru faces. You are just shameless. That's completely uncalled for. You should talk. All right, that's enough. Yes, Sensei. I know you're just looking out for me. What are you doing here anyway, Takane? What? <laughs> Was she- was Aru- was this- is this the same artist? Is this the same artist? This has to be. This face is too properly executed that looks like an Aru to not be the same artist. This is- <laughs> this is absolutely Aru. <laughs> Ah, there you are, President. Everyone is looking for you. Let's go. Eh. President? President? Oh, is she president of the fan club? Oh, no. Wait a second. You knew wh what this was, where it is, and someone just called you president. Guess the cat's out of the bag. Yes, I'm the president of the Luna Club. Can you organize this fanfic event? Wait, wait, wait. This is too much information too fast. You organized this event because you want the final volume too, didn't you? What if I did? I just gave a whole speech about how critics help bring light to the variety of works that would otherwise go unnoticed. But you're just collecting and reading works about your favorite story. Talk about a hypocrite. There comes the gun again. Well, what are you doing? If anyone finds out about this, it will ruin my reputation as an impartial critic. What's worse is that you, Meruri, 
are teasing me just for liking something. I've decided it would be better if you were silenced. But you're the one who sent me here in the first place. Things change. Really? Do you hear how crazy you sound right now? Suppose you're right. But it's not just me, you know. There will always be people who want to see how it ends. I mean, yeah, that's not wrong. Some worry about the original author who just disappeared one day. Some say it was irresponsible of him not of them not to finish it. But every day, sing, but every single person who loves Luna wants more of it. They don't want it to die with the original author, so they started creating their own stories. And so here we are. Are you saying that each person is creating a brand new ending in their own style? It's not their own interpretation, yes. Yeah. Or it's their own interpretation, yes. But there are as many interpretations of the works of the work as there are fans. No one will ever know which is correct, so every interpretation is valued and respected equally. Of course, everyone wants their version to stand out and be recognized. It's in the nature of every creator. That's not necessarily wrong. So we don't know yet if it has the same artist as Aru. Oh, I see. <laughs> Regardless, it's all fan fiction in the end, isn't it? My point is, you were never going to find the final volume of Luna or use it to reconcile with Momiji. But there is something you can do. Gift her one of the Luna fanfics here. The one with the best review. If there's anything that will show Momiji how much you care, it's that. So that's why you brought me here. You're right. You're absolutely right. Now, sweet, here. This one's the best reviewed work. It's my own! <laughs> If I can't find the final volume, I can at least get her the next best thing. Ah, even you can see reason sometimes. Wonderful. The thing is, sometimes when something feels so right that you have no choice but to do it, it makes you want to dig your heels in. What do you mean? I'm going to create something too. What? I'm going to write the final volume of Luna. Huh? <laughs> that is absolutely an Aru face. It's so perfect. The eyes, everything. It looks too perfect to not be. It's me, I'm the artist. <laughs> Time to create the best final volume. Half baked, oof. I mean, you can't just write a book in the blink of an eye. Some people could. You'd be surprised. I know a few people that could probably, that could probably knock out a book. Uh, realistically, if they're hyper-motivated and not experiencing any writing's block, writer's block whatsoever, probably about a week and a half. Unless it's like one of those really short books and probably about a, uh, maybe a day or two. There are some people I know that just love to- Okay, chat GBT is not an option. <laughs> no, get out of here with that. <laughs> it's a manga though, those take a Oh, it's mon- right, it's manga. Okay, never mind. That is true. Okay, that would take considerable time. Unless she's like absolutely gifted at drawing and is really quick at it. Hey, Red. I made just write a book in the blink of an eye. This is right, it takes planning. How do you plan to write the whole ending on a whim? I mean, it wasn't that long ago that you didn't even know Luna existed. Ugh, don't remind me. I have to remind you that this is a problem. Oh, on the other hand, if you write up Luna fanfic... Uh-oh. The face of yours. That look on your face is giving me the willies. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. You don't like what? You know, what do you mean? You're barely a fan of Luna, and suddenly you're inspired to write fanfic? You don't deserve to. I'm the real Luna fan. I liked it for- Oh my gosh. What does that matter? I understand where she's coming from. You too, Sensei? It's just because you have a grudge against me, Takane. It's both the critic and true fan of Luna- Don't- Stop it. You want more- You would want a bigger- You want the fan base to grow. Don't get this elitism out of here. I'm the most qualified appeal to authority. Oh. Mm, 
my favorite. Gatekeeper, yeah, that's probably a bit of right. Appeal of authority too, but mostly gatekeeping. Oh. <sighs> the wrong, yeah, the elitism. I hate this so much in so many circumstances. It's a different meaning of the BA community. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean that had so what happened to the blue archive community lately? I don't even know. What are we gonna be like I I, I liked I I liked Blue Archive before it was cool or something? People arguing over Twitter for- oh, so usual. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Twitter stuff. Oh, okay. That's- it, it's meaningless. Got it. People are a little in- I see. Keep the total people- well, look, you- look, you would prefer them to- to- Don't- don't keep them in Twitter. I mean this in the, in, the, in the nicest way possible. Go let them, let them out. Let them go touch grass or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm only on Twitter like five minutes. I see it every now and then, but I'm just like, ah, I don't want it. I don't. I just don't. It's horrible, but it's whatever. Go to Mastodon. <laughs> How's that app even doing? Is it even alive anymore? The Max are playing Blue Arc. Is it? Yeah. Did... There's a few people I've been seeing that do that. Don't forget what happened under the. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I mean, what's cool? I mean, like, I get it. She's been around the fandom for a while. Somebody who doesn't necessarily, you know, who's kind of new to it, hasn't been there for a while. Maybe they're not qualified. Sure. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't like that viewpoint because it's like, uh, there are times where people who, what is it? Maybe, yeah, they're new. It's under, I understand that. But it doesn't necessarily mean that these people can't make gr works just as good as the people that have been around since the beginning. Sure, they don't necessarily know everything that the community does, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're, you know, what they write is any less valid. Didn't Maxer start out because Aru first? Like, all you're gonna do all it's gonna do is just keep your community small. It's, uh, if anything, that's that's more harmful to your to your community than it is anything else. As I see it, bad fanfiction is better than no fanfiction. Yeah, exactly. If you push everybody away, there's no community. If there's no community, then there's no game or media or whatever. I understand that some people aren't like. There was who, who I forget who said it recently, but there's a video I I think it might have been. Asmund? I don't know. I occasionally see Asmund's video. Asmund Gold, for those who don't know who that is. Uh, I think he said something about people that, you know, people who originally didn't have access to tools can now make tools, but it also means that people who don't necessarily, you know, you you take you you win and you lose some. People who have the ability to do things are gonna do it. The people that have that like it's good because those that are actually really good at it are going to be able to uh, make good works, and th but it also means that people who really shouldn't be doing it are going to do it too and make it look bad, but that's different. It's better to have a bigger community than anything else. Than having a newcomer come on is risky. Sure, but we're talking about a, a work that has been, I, I don't want to say discontinued, but like something that's not been touched in a long time. And that's kind of a thing where it's like everyone has their own interpretation of it. You know, everyone's gonna look at the- everyone's gonna look at 
a, a story this a, in different lights, sure. Just because somebody read it, you know, has followed the guy when he was re releasing the books, doesn't mean that they're any bit better than somebody who just read the whole, that just binged read the whole story. If anything, I would be, I mean, yeah, it's risky, sure, maybe they don't fully get all the details of it, but, you know, it's fan fiction. It's not, it's not canon. It's like this, I hate having to use my own example, but... <laughs> It's non-canon. You can draw it to make it, you can try to make it connect to make it seem canon, but that's only at your own discretion. That's doing what you want to do with it. What I wrote was cringy, but it was still, you know, people liked it. So it's hard to explain, so you're better off searching for Maxer yourself. Yeah, Maxer, isn't he like a... I don't know how to just describe him, actually. I've only watched like a few of his videos. I don't follow him. I don't follow a lot of YouTubers. I feel kind of bad. Don't be Twitter for his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if anything, too, I would also say, like, I, I welcome it. Why? Because people can introduce ideas through these works and things that you might not necessarily have thought of. And it'd be like, huh, that's a very interesting way to put a twist on this. And that makes you think of, you know, that gives you a perspective that you weren't prepared for. And that might actually help you if you if you're a writer, especially reading other people's works and seeing how they portray scenes is very helpful. A lot of people like to, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, OK, well, this is a very I mean, it may not necessarily be great, but it may be one of those scenarios where it's, you know, it's a different perspective. It's another one that might actually make things interesting and maybe it ends up being better. I'm not saying that it's going to, but it could. The potential is there, and it's worth letting it try. And if it's bad, well, people can ridicule it, or just ignore it. Gatekeeping, I feel, is toxic. I've seen, a f a f I've seen uh, bad things too many times from a community getting too big. Well, I mean, like, isn't this kind of the... Maybe, maybe I don't necessarily know the story around this, but I I've seen gatekeeping at its worst. Wants to make it for Momiji. Not for the community or for herself. True, I guess. And it's just. She, but that's. I uh, guess that's kind of really the point here. But it's like, I've seen. I've seen really bad things happen from gatekeeping. Like, if I remember. I'm, well, I don't know if that's necessarily gatekeeping, more so of just backseating hard. Uh, maybe that's not the best example. I'm thinking the Undertale community. Because it's like, if I remember always hearing that Undertale is a great game to play, but just don't stream it or make videos on it. That's the one thing, I, that's like the golden rule I've heard in the last like decade when it came to any kind of game. Is we having another round? No, 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 it's not. <laughs> but that's like the one thing I've heard about under. So it's like there's reasons where it's bad, and I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I don't think this is a good reason. Undertale, I've, been, I haven't played it myself. I've been told it's a great game, and I've been told that it pays attention to how you play, and I think that's brilliant. But from what I've heard, the horror stories I've heard about that game, I don't know if I would ever want to stream the game. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This is one of those things where it's like you have to look at it, I guess. Maybe it's nuanced. I'll just put it that way. Anyway. I'm going to go alienated for the reason that they initially joined it. But the... This down here is not that. Was it Jack Septicai or Mark? I think it was Markiplier. I think that's why he caught he cut it out. Nunto, I love the Phantom Arts. I I only really heard the music. That was about it. And I don't like I think it was the papyrus theme that I heard that was very similar to the uh, uh, the Pursuers of Non Possessiveness theme. So, hey tourists. Yeah. 
I, uh, I guess. Fair point, but still. I just kind of think it's not necessarily a good thing. But anyway. Sorry for that. D yeah, Descartes. Is it Descartes? Is it called Descartes' theme, or is it just... Or is it just, like, theme and number? I think it's, like, 113 or something from what I've seen. Well, fine, you make a fair point. And as a reader myself, it's not like I don't sympathize. But I really want to draw and create. Go on. I admit it, I was wrong for not considering Momiji's opinion before I started criticizing the work. Other feelings made her angry and started this whole mess. Everything was my fault. Is that accountability I hear? Your compromise matter come so far. So tell me, what brought about this moment of personal growth? The fans and their writing. There's a massive official convention happening outside of Red Winter. And fans happily create, created and, bought, and brought stories to share. I'll study whatever I have to. I want to draw, it feels right. I'm sure I'll, that's what I need to do. Like I always say, desire inspires creation. I think you might be right. Yes. But of course, as a longtime fan of Luna, you would never approve. I'll tell you what, I'll give you four days to do it, Mitter. You give me a time limit? But it's so short! If you want the opportunity, you have to make it work. You did want to do this, didn't you? Why the sudden change of heart? And what's with the four-day time limit? It's because this year's official Luna Volume 22 con is in four days. Huh? Is that different from this event? Yes, this one is just the precursor to the main event. Everything you saw here today is fanfic that was submitted for previous Volume 22 cons. The point of this year's event is to find the next great Volume 22 of Luna. And that's happening in four days. If you want to draw Luna Volume 22, and you want to do it right, then you should enter the event. You said I have four days? If you want to participate in our official con and submit your interpretation of Luna Volume 22, then yes. No, oh, and since she's a fan, you should tell Omiji about it. Considering you're both fans of Luna, she sh you should be proud to show off your work. The only thing I worry about is all the shouting and cursing you do when, you when you're coming up on a deadline. <laughs> you think that's a lot of cursing. Just know if you participate in the official con and submit your volume 22, whether it's garbage or a masterpiece, as the best Red Winter critic and president of the Luna Club, I will be the one to personally evaluate it. Oof. Hensei, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> that seems a little, uh, huh. Uh, people like those can't. are why. Yeah, I get. Like, I think about that. That is true. Because it's like, I think about the Kashino event, as you guys were pointing out, that does make a lot of sense, I'll be honest. Some of these people, <laughs> yeah, you know, I kind of wouldn't be surprised at the number of people on Twitter that were like, Whoa, this is so horrible, why did you do this? And then they're secretly downloading the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, I know people, um, I, I, that whole thing was just weird. Personally, I kind of like Kashino, but I don't like her for that. She's really a sweet character. It's just, a, it's just, to me, it's a bummer that they don't focus on other aspects of her. But, I guess, you know, that's kind of where they make their, that's kind of where they make a lot of their money. I mean, we saw how many, how viral that post went. It's what it is. Kashino's Ozzelin Cash. Yeah, literally. Still, anyway. I'm sure you'd laugh, you'd laugh after saying that. I don't understand. Well, I, I, I could say you're so full of yourself. You're not a judge. I don't need your approval. And a few days ago, that's exactly what I would have shouted at you. But I don't want to. You're the reason I'm even here, after all. What was that? I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you say it much louder? No, you didn't hear it the first time. That's your fault. <laughs> maybe, uh, anyway, maybe a challenging deadline is just what I need. I'll play along with your plans this time. That way I can create something that Momoji and I can both enjoy. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. As a courtesy, I'm expressing my full support. Do your best. 
Yeah. I guess the big thing is, like, let's put it this way. I can understand it being okay. I can also see it being bad. I think what really matters is the intent of the person that wants to be doing this. So, like, the person in Meru's case that wants to be Luna, it depends on her intent. If they're if they're gonna be like the the tourists a lot of you guys are mentioning, then yeah, I get that. I can understand why gatekeeping could be something that's necessary or at least something nice. Whereas if it's not a person, they're trying to be genuine about it. I think they should be allowed to. That's really how I look at it. So anyway, ah, we're back. I feel like I've been tromping through snow all an entire day. I kind of did nothing wrong. That's because we did, silly. With an arm full of books at that. There's such thin- how could they be so heavy? There's such thin books. I mean, these both go that way. I mean, like, in this case, she just wants to be her happy. Or at least she just wants to make up, because, like, they're close friends, or at least they- it sounds like it. They've been built up that way. Fun. New people coming and trying to change the thing and attack the original- Yeah, 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 exactly. That I can agree with. I understand that- that- that kind of mentality. That makes a lot more sense to me. I think tourists are people who look at an anime that rants about it. Not what they want it to be. Yeah, and like, it's, like I would honestly say like, uh, not everything's gonna be for you. It's kind of like how it is with games. You know, I I look at like what is it? Popular games like Fortnite, uh, those kind of battle royale games, and I'm just kind of like, nah. I'll stick with with Team Fortress too. I like that game. Or, uh, I, you know, um, I liked Borderlands 1 and 2, pre-sequel was okay, I didn't like 3. 3 just wasn't my type, I haven't touched 3 in a long time. And that's just how it is, I just accept it, it's like, it's a bummer that it's not a game I liked, but at the same time, it's just not my game. That's it. Dark Souls is not for everyone. I've never tried it. It does seem like a. It, 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 I, I can understand why people would like that game. Absolutely. I've never tried it myself. I don't know if I want to, though. Not because I don't want to play. It's just more of. I don't know. It's just not a game I think I would love. Then again, I don't really know what kind of games I like anymore. <laughs> My tastes are kind of changing. <laughs> well, well kind of. I like a lot of. Uh, I'm, I'm bigger on strategy games. So, anyway, never underestimate fan fiction. Every book is thin and light. But when you have a bunch together, they can be quite the challenge. It happens to me all the time. I buy a bunch of books and I can't live without. But the stack really weighs you down. They also have the unfortunate side effect of lightening your wallet. <laughs> the unfortunate side effect of lightening your wallet. <laughs> you hold the entire stack up until you feel like your arms are going to give out. And people stare at you like you have two heads. Then you just have to stare at the ground and hope they go away eventually. Here I am still enjoying Command & Conquer. Uh, it's a good game though. Like I actually, like I was playing it recently and I had a lot of fun. Like if you, like my general experience with it is doing, I, I, I don't know if, if the people that has that saw me do it last time were there, but I called it, I just called it being a menace to society, which is a Humvee filled with five pathfinders. And then watching as the infantry general AI is probably seething because he's losing all of his units. <laughs> Only for a MIG to blow up my Humvee and I'm just like, well, that just happened. <laughs> all of my pathfinders were, were heroic and they just got blown up. <laughs> Send toxin. No, 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 no. Just, just get, just get a humpy with five pathfinders and just watch them unleash everything. <laughs> or better yet, steal one of their armored transports, put eight pathfinders in it. And <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're all bundled. I don't need to buy them. I, I, I managed to install all of my disc copies of it and get them uh, to work. So I'm actually able to play Generals and Red Alert 2 and, and Yuri's Revenge right now. I'm actually been really happy with it. 
I could play I could play uh, Yuri's Revenge online and everything, but I am probably so rusty at that game I'd do horribly. Oh <sighs> gosh, but no, like I like you can do so many so much shenanigans in Command and Conquer if you're just playing for the fun of it. But I will be honest at the same time, when you're playing for rank, oh, that's a whole different beast. Though it could be fun too. Though I would probably was a little too uh, sadistic with how I played back then. Anyway, that never happened to me, mind you. That description was awfully specific. Time to start my research. Just look at the ground and hope they go away. Already? What do you mean already? We only have four days. Time is flying and every moment is precious. But there's one thing I wanted to say. I know I'm being stubborn, Zensei, and that I've made things hard for myself, but I choose to do this and I'm determined to do it right. But that doesn't mean you have to indulge me. Of course I will. You asked me for help right from the start, and I won't abandon you. Yep, sensei being sensei. <laughs> you were just waiting to say that cliche line, weren't you? But somehow I knew you'd stick with me. It's sensei. It's just how he is. Very kind, sensei. I think that's why I trust you so much. Ahem. <laughs> well then, I bought a bunch of fanfic for inspiration, so let's. So it's time to analyze. I should be able to write up a rough draft by the end of the day. Generals in Zero Hour or something else. Hope the Steam version actually works. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, does it? Actually, I have no idea. I, I, I usually just don't... I don't play online, so I don't even know how to hook it up. I, well, no, there's a way you can hook it up. I'm pretty sure uh, Revora works. I think... Ge is it Generals? Is it General? No, Generals isn't that popular. It's Red Alert 2, that is. With that Meta's four-day challenge... Drawing challenge began. Four days to... Oh, gosh. There's no end to these fanfics. The weight of history is surely great. Uh, change of plans. This won't work. It would take me four days just to read all of this. I'll just have to start working and use these as a reference when I'm stuck. Sensei, you just keep up the good work. What am I doing? Am I, am I reading? What am I doing? Am I, am I the one that's like bringing her food? Giving her a pillow? She passes out? No, she. That. Uh, I don't think she's reading. I'm reading. What? I don't think she's sleeping. I know that face. <laughs> the eyes are devoid of life, Jet. Man, you should have, you have to get some sleep. No, I can't. Every minute is precious right now. Sensei, where are you taking me? Oh, you want me to sit down here? Passes out immediately. Mary dozed off the moment she sat down. I couldn't leave her like that. She'd have slept till noon the next day and I felt terrible. Oh, okay. Mary, wake up. You need to brush your teeth and wash your face first. Have I played Supreme Command? I have not. But you just told me to sit down and I'm so tired. Why do you want me to get up? You'd feel awful if you sleep in this chair all night. Come on. I don't know, they make some amazing chairs. Like the... <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> Do we prank her? John, don't prank prank him, John. Eh? Eh? Supreme Commander is very good. Give it a shot. I need to try... Uh, one thing I need to try is the other Age of Empire games. Because it's like, I played Age of Empires 3. I didn't know what I was doing, but I at least tried it. I want to try, like, I, I've heard 2 is the go-to. You said you want to play Generals of Fun. Try Mod Contra. It's Generals, but with Kane's Wrath, Super Units, and it's balanced. I hear super units and I'm already thinking things that I don't want to think. I've only played Age of Mythology. I've never played it. I know Age of I've Like I said, I only know Age of Empires 2 is like the go-to that people were playing. But I, I, I think they... Didn't they like modernize the games recently? Anyway, no, I want to sleep right now, please. Come on, it's not hard. You're a good, responsible girl, right? Come 
clean up. Not that good of a girl. And she's out. Oh, she woke up again. Let's see, how long was I asleep? Just under three hours, maybe? How many hours have I been working? At least 13. What is that face? This is hell. <laughs> Where's the swearing come out? Oh, welcome, Takani. Who brings you here? Mel still has time, right? Ahem, just here for an inspection. I am by no means here because I'm I was worried about Meruri. I'm just gonna call her Meru, just so I don't have to just switch between the names all the time. And what do I find when I visit the Knowledge Liberation Front Library? Sensei and Meru laying half lying half dead on the floor. When I ask what happened, all you can do is show me this book. Oh wow. Correct, Takane. You only had energy for a thumbs up, Sensei? Meru, me, Meru say something. <laughs> she's out. Out like a light. Well, she's a goner, out cold. Well, since I'm here, I'll give it a look. This is her life's calling, huh? As a critic, I must remain objective, but I can also factor in my personal opinion as the president of the Luna fan club. Please be kind to her. Well then. So the two Lunas go... Huh? No way, that's how it ends? It fulfilled the foreshadowing in the canon, but with a twist. Moreover... Oh, <laughs> hmm, interesting. But if she says that... No, come back, Luna! She didn't mean that! She knew all along! That's why she made the choice, but doing that means they're only already showing... <laughs> She's getting too involved! She's getting too invested, Chen! It's working! It's working! This has to be Aru's art. Like, look at this face. This has to be. This has to be. The way the face is drawn, the facial expressions, everything about it matches, almost identical. You could easily swap the hair and everything out and it will, the face will still feel the same. There's no way it's not. <laughs> anyway. Ready, Meru? If that's how it ends, I'll never forgive you. Never. Even if the go the gods themselves do, I won't. Eh? Now, what's going on? Takane, why are you here? Routine inspection. That's all you need to know. Inspection? I don't understand. I'm still so sleepy. Maybe another nap. You can sleep after you finish the next chapter. Hurry! I, I I think she's doing good. Jeez, I can't deal with this until I've had at least three cups of coffee. Three cups! Jeez! You're making me fetch you coffee? I won't forget this. What do you expect? Since it's half dead and I desperately need sleep, you're the only one who can make a coffee run right now. Oh, I can't believe you had the guts to say that to my face. You bet I did. Anyway, how was it? How was it? Part 1 of the Luna Volume 22, of course. You said you'd review it from the perspective of a fan, so... You're disqualified. But why? Because it's not even done yet. What is there for me to review? Luna Volume 22 was never published because it didn't- it's incomplete, right? You're sentencing me to the same fate! Uh, did you really think this half-baked attempt would help Momiji forgive you? How could you be so careless? Alright, 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 come on now. She's still working on it. You could've at least- like... 
You could have at least given her inf input on vault on the first part of it, not roast her because it's not done. Come on! A thousand words couldn't describe how ashamed and disappointed I am right now. If it weren't for Momiji, I wouldn't even have this. I wouldn't have even have this opportunity. Since they tried so hard to help him, but without Momiji, I'm, I'd be nothing. I can't finish this without Momiji. I need to finish this to make up with her. What should I do? Sometimes being honest with ourselves is exactly what we need to be free. You're telling me to admit I can't do it and give up? I'm telling you to be realistic. You can't submit an unfinished work. And if this is the best you can do, then I'm a little disappointed in you. The day isn't here yet. It's two days away, and today is nearly over. When you factor in the time to print, you only have one day left. Do you really think you can finish the, the last half in a single day, Mary? You never know unless you try. Without Momiji? Alright, that was that was a low blow. Can't review anything until it's finished, right? So you're going to try for it anyway. Good, I'll be waiting. I look forward to reading your finished product. Keep it I feel like I feel like that was really rude of her. <laughs> she asked for the first part and you you slammed her for the whole thing. Come on. <laughs> Takane, please. Though it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear from how she was reacting earlier. I think she likes it. She just doesn't want to admit it. The cog. Is this a metaphor for Meru being the machine and Momiji is the cog that keeps her going? Is that what that's supposed to mean or something else? Does she leave? Yep, all is well. I see, fine. And plop. Meru! I'm fine, I'm just a little punch drunk from the exhaustion. And hyped up on adrenaline after that nerve wracking conversation. Riding longer might must look like a tough job to you, huh? <laughs> Glad you understand what it's what I'm going through. Well, okay, you're on a four day timeline. I'm sure some people get more time than you do. I don't think I would okay. I, I should say I sh I hope. <laughs> I hope people do. Well, just let me sleep for a little bit and don't wake me unless Kibotos is crumbling around us. Chapter F. Be like. Made it roughly collapse back into sleep. Mufi Manganaka, don't show, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. That's a real life. I feel like you're putting- I don't know. It's- You can't- you probably have- that's probably how you have to start. I understand that. Ugh. Makes me glad I didn't go into that industry, I'll just put it that way. In game jams with three days time limit is indeed hell. Oh, I, I I've done a I've done a code jam, not game jam. The only, like my my biggest problem when I did my code jam was that I did not have enough experience developing stuff and I didn't know what to make. That caused me to be like, well, what do I do? It's just kind of how it is. Nowadays, if I it's even the same thing if I were to do a game jam. I've never oh, okay. I've, I've not it's not that I've not coded a game. It's more that I haven't done enough of it to really know what, how to do it or how to set things up. I don't understand enough concept of programming that it's hard. It's just knowing how the system's all set up and how to use everything. I don't know. I feel like half the time for me on a code jam would be like learning how to even work with one of the engines versus actually coding. Is basically what I'm trying to say. Like, I could code JavaScript games. I've done that for a majority of my time. Heck, I even made a... I even converted an engine, uh, well, a, a basic JavaScript library game engine into a Java engine. Didn't work fantastic, but it did It did a good job for what it was for my first ever, like, coding attempt at a game. I don't even know if I didn't have that anymore, but who knows? Anyway, gently carried made it over to the bed and laid her down. I then flopped... Then I flopped down on t into the game library chair that she had been occupying. I was interested with another guy. They won. They my friends to get a job for a lab at a city government. That's cool. 
Like, I would love to make games. That would be, like, sure, I know it's gonna be a lot of work. I understand that. I, I mean, that's technically what I do on a daily basis anyway, but I'm not that, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be, like, turned away from the, sh the like, mountain of work you'd have to do for it. I'd find it more fun being like, I can create something. This is what I want to create. This is how I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to try. But it's how it is. Do it in a single day. Some people can. Like, people who are really good at their craft, you'd be surprised how fast, or like, you could be, it's amazing how efficient they can be with their time. Huh? Who's calling? Momiji. Was this Momiji being, feeling sad about it? Oh, Sitsi, how have you been? Oh, I'm doing fine. Well, actually, I've been better. I could use your advice. What's the issue? She's probably just respond to us. Okay. It's about Meru. You and Meru had a disagreement. Yeah, how did you know? Wait, are you at the Knowledge li uh, Liberation Front Library? What happened? Cinnamon Roll is alive. I see. Meru said that. Hmm. I thought she was gonna go to the the library. Hey Sensei. I want to make up with Meru too. Sure, she's self-absorbed, loud, both brash and timid at time at the most inconvenient times, but. She's not a bad person where it counts. I think I overreacted about Luna. She's allowed to have her own opinions. Well, actually... <laughs> oh, no. Meru's a writer, after all. Our perspectives on this one just clashed, is all. Let my emotions get the better of me, and she s and said some things to Meru that I regret. And since Meru isn't very good at apologizing, I thought maybe I should go first. Should we tell her? Well, I don't think I'm gonna... I don't... I think I answered my own question here. <laughs> All about that, Momiji. Meru is actually writing Luna Volume 22. What? What are you talking about? I haven't even been gone a week and suddenly the Knowledge Liberation Front is making manga? I feel like we... I feel like we... I feel like we... Yeah, I was going to say, it's an illusion of choice, guys. It's an illusion of choice. There's nothing we could have done about it. I filled Momiji in on the details. <laughs> the face. Don't cry. Don't, don't, whatever you do, do not cry. Hey, Momiji. I don't know what to say. I know the feeling. Amanda's a whole new person. You've been helping her. Her fanfic is halfway done and she has two days left? I can't believe this is happening. I must be dreaming. This can't be real. It's too much. Boy, when reality strikes, it hits hard. No one would have expected Amanda to go to such lengths. I understand how Mary feels. I feel that way all the time. Once you're hooked, you can't focus on anything else, no matter what anyone says. Still, Meru is creating that fanfic for you, Momiji. So... I know. <laughs> I can't describe how strange I feel about it all. I don't care how everything else turns out, I'll definitely want to see Meru's Luna. Do you really mean that? Hey! Otama! No. <laughs> I was like, the only person I know who would do that would be Kotama or something. <laughs> oh, it's Meru. It makes sense. It just oh, he, She just happens to overhear the conversation. M Meru? I woke up from my nap just as since they rushed outside. I was curious. So did you hear our whole conversation? Not all of it. Just the important bit. <laughs> No, no, girls, don't, don't, girls, girls, don't cry. 
Don't cry. Let's say, can you do more than groan along with the rest of us? Say something helpful. What do you mean? I was trying. <laughs> Kotama rude. I mean, hello, Sensei. Kotama, no. Hangs up phone. <laughs> Me over. Sensei, can't you, can't you say something useful? Me. Don't cry. Don't cry. Game me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sensei, you're the teacher. Lay some wisdom on us. True wisdom is knowing you know nothing. This is no time for useless platitudes. Uh, Meru, we... Um, so... I'm just sitting here like, should I leave you to be? Do you, do, do you need me to be a mediator? I mean... Not really sure how I should approach this. Just hug each other. I mean, they literally, they physically cannot. How do we meet up and then just decide how we feel? And say. Is it? But do you think meeting face to face will magically fix our differences of opinion? Well, not magically, but maybe if we have a little build up or something. And since I know nitpicking isn't going to solve our problem. M Momiji. Eh? Shall we meet up to talk? Maybe. I guess so. Yes, okay. Hug the phone. <laughs> Hug the phone. Yes, that'll do it. After a few twists and turns, we meet up with Momichi. No, I can't do it. I'm not going. I'll do it another time. Come on now, you have to keep your word. You misled me, Sensei. I need to do more emotional prep. I need to hype my up my, myself up for this, otherwise... There, there, be a good, kind girl, Meru. I told you I'm, I was gonna say, she's not gonna say that. Not a good girl, I'm not going. Meru, you're being rude, come with me. Ack! <laughs> Hey, let me go! Where are you taking me? Ah, Sensei's kidnapping students! What, which is like, is, is this like, is this like the, that one video of the cat that's just laying on the floor and the guy's just dragging him by leash? Or the dog, I think it's the dog actually. So, come around here often? No one said a word for a full five minutes. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Momiji. I was too harsh before. I thought Luna was funny. No, I'm the one who should be apologizing. I know better than anyone how hard you work. I'm sorry I was too hard on you. You know, I could order you some more fried pancakes. I'm sorry about duplicating book orders you already put in. I just thought that as a librarian it was my responsibility. I have to say something. It's fine if you don't agree with what I'm about to say, and if you think I'm just talking crazy, that's okay too. In fact, it might be easier for me if you think that. Okay. When I visited the Luna fanfic convention, I met a lot of- a ton of Luna fans. Everyone wanted to add their own flair to their work. They were doing all kinds of creative things. Some people might think what I'm doing is stupid or ask why I even bother. What's the point of making your own version of an unfinished work? 
But others' opinions don't matter. What matters is that we love it. Somewhere along the way, I forgot that. I mean, that's very true. Applies to a lot of things outside of just manga. No point in doing something like that if, you know, you don't love doing it. How do you fry a pancake? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have I don't have anything for you guys. <laughs> Does that count as a fried pancake? I guess. Is there is there any? Is it, I'm actually kind of curious. Is, there, is this actually a thing, or is it just the translation team didn't know? Oh no, it's 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 a thing. I mean pan fried, but and there's no there's deep fried variations apparently. That's just wait, no, that that's not that's a that's not true. That's a corn dog. You've lied to me. I guess a corn dog is is if you take the if you take the hot dog piece out of it, it is technically just a Well is it well the batter is isn't that different from what you would fry with normally for like uh well, I mean, any kind of fry batter. No, I mean, apparently it's a thing. Pan-fried pancakes. I mean, when you think about that, it is technically... I mean, that's one way to make it anyway. I mean, that's what my family does. They'll... Uh, when I was younger, they'll just... They put pancake mix together, put it on a... In a frying pan, and that was it. What's next, fried popcorn? So, pan pancakes. Yep, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm sure you... Like like I was saying, I'm pretty sure you could deep fry it still, and... Because it, it's... Uh, the mix... Like, the batter that's used for pancakes is probably the stuff that's also used for, like, a lot of deep fries. I can't imagine it being that different. Then again, people... <laughs> people also like to deep fry just about anything and everything. I see this thing like what fried zucchini or whatever it is. I'm just like, or f pickles, fried pickles, and a whole bunch of other things. I just don't understand why. I don't know. <laughs> People be weird sometimes. I have no idea. So many Luna fans are still actively engaged in the fanfic movement. It was like meeting a thousand momijis. That came out weird. It sounds like I only the, I can I only think art is worthy of attention if it has fans. Every story is worthy of attention. How could I have forgotten that? Me, a manga artist. Let me see again. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Wow, man, you're giving me goosebumps. This is so unlike you. <laughs> After I said everything at the bottom of my heart, that's how you respond. Fried butter. Who? Why? I no, I don't want to. I don't want to think about that anymore. I can feel my. I, I, I'm gonna feel my arteries clog up reading that and thinking about that. Ugh. <laughs> a pair, the pair continued apologizing to each other for a while, because America. Look, I may be from this country, but that don't mean I like everything. Personally, I find the put bacon on everything disgusting. <laughs> Like I remember seeing, I, I I remember seeing the 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 commercials for the like milkshake with with bacon on it. And I about threw up. <laughs> Ugh. God, I don't want to think about that anymore. Anyway, now that we've all made up, we're gonna do about Luna. Well, yeah. Luna Volume Twenty Two may not need to be finished. I do. Right. In Indonesia, there, there is fried banana. Okay, well, I've heard of fried banana. That I've actually had that a few times, and my dad actually used to like that every now and then. Is 
Hey, wrong guy. I'm sorry, milkshake with what? Bacon. Was it, what did it stink? Hang on. Not steak and shake, it was, uh... Hang on, I gotta, I gotta, no. I don't remember where it was at. Oh, no, Jack in the Box does it. Johnny Rockets did it apparently. Five Guys has his own variant of it. Jack in the Box has his own variant of it. Ugh. Those two things I don't think. I, I, I'm done. I don't want to look at it anymore. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm good. Fried ice cream. I've actually heard fried ice cream is amazing. Isn't like a sweet and salty comp? Is it though? But there's protein in it. Milk. I mean, yeah. If it's whey protein, whey protein like milkshake, sure, maybe. But like, ugh. I don't know. I'm just weird. I think it was just part of the trend to put bacon on everything, and yeah. Anyway. But I'm going to I'm going to draw it anyway, right through to the very end. Maybe. At the end of the day, creative works should be its own reward. Right? Yep. This just goes back to that that three hour long lore video again. Desire dream. Yes, desire drives the creation, doesn't it? Yeah. Exactly, and right now, that's what just what I want to do, create. I want to write a Luna Volume 22 that I can be proud of. And I want to present it to my best friend, so will you help me, Momiji? Well, it's a little unusual to ask someone to help you make their own gift. But for you, I'd be honored. I'll do everything in my power to help, too. Okay, then let's get back to work. Durian shake. At that moment, the clouds parted and the sun shined bright. It was like the universe telling us we had, our, we had taken our first step on the right path. I prayed their relationship would grow stronger in the future. What the heck are you thinking with this? What's this going to do to Luna? It's a twist, don't worry, I put a lot of thought into it. We need a client. We needed a climax so the story can have a gripping conclusion. Do you realize you only have a few pages left to get that conclusion, right? Eddie, you're making the same pacing mistakes all over again. Fine, I'll just have to write more pages. Fans always love more content anyway. But what about time? Unless someone falls out of the sky and helps you, there's no way you'll have enough time for that. You just have to do what you can with the time and resources you have left. Why are we fighting again? Oh, sorry, Sensei. It's okay. It's all part of the job here at the Knowledge Liberation Front. Don't worry about it, we're just exchanging ideas to come up with the best solution. I mean, Momi Momoi and Midori would do this. I'm not sure I believe that. Would you- I feel like- I feel like if you- if you replace the names and the club with Momoi and, and Midori, it probably would still fit. Weirdly enough. Except instead of saying drawing or, or writing or anything, just say it's a coding, programming, or anything like that, and boom, it's the same exact story. Well, I'm glad you're finding humor in all this. But back to the topic at hand, I can't give up. I'm prepared to do anything if it means finishing the story the way I know it needs to be. But that would put us twi at twice the length, which would mean we're only a third of the way done. I need a clone or a miracle. We don't have either. Are you two absolutely sure you can work together? Ah, it's 
It's been so long since I've been in the library. I suppose it has, hasn't it? This is still the place I feel most at home. I'm practically melting into this chair. What are you doing, Momiji? We don't have time to melt. From now on, we have to be laser-focused on the manuscript. Huh. Let me indulge in, it just, in just a little sentimentality, won't you? Sheesh, you're as short-tempered as ever. One day to go. It is a common dine. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm not- it's not me bashing it or anything. This is such a kind of cute. Is there a gun over there in the corner? Do you want me to put the material here? Yeah, stack it up there. <laughs> Finish reviewing the entire plot of Luna. You seem really agitated, Mitty. Well, this is a story with an incredibly rich history and dedicated fan base. There's a lot that could go wrong. Yeah, about that. I don't want to seem shallow, but... I'd hate to get lukewarm reviews like her inexperience showed, but she did her best. I love that you're motivated, but please be mindful of your deadlines. What was that? I thought I heard whispering on a cold breeze. Don't ignore me! If your manuscript is late, I'm the one who pays for it when it's time to print. I'll have to beg to get bumped to the front of the line. Luigi, I've never once missed a deadline that I didn't intend to. So, you're giving me gray hairs on purpose. Luigi, I'm in the zone. Something bigger than me is involved now. It's like I'm channeling some ancient power. I'm the one holding the pen, but I'm not the one drawing. All I can do is let it happen. Oh no, that's not going to work. I refuse to let you blame your tardiness on the universe. <laughs> Holy crap, they're going. It D Day. <laughs> it's you did it. You finished. Is this real or is this some weird dream that it's going to give me false hope? Oh, it's real. If it were a dream, I'd I'd be d I wouldn't be dying of exhaustion right now. Well, don't slow down yet. It's not over until it's over, and it's not over until we print this. I guess I'll have to go to the publishing department, but I have a, fe a bad feeling about this. Bad feeling or not, we have to print. I don't care if Kivoto's crumbles into oblivion tomorrow. Nothing has got to keep me from printing this. Come on, Sensei, how much time do we have left? About three hours. Let's hurry. Death can wait. Due date. Due date. Deadline date. I've heard both of those for D-Day. Of course, there's also the other D-Day, but we don't talk about that one. Well, I mean, people do, but th this isn't the place. <laughs> she is mo motivated. It's weird that there is still four chapters to this. I'm not- I'm not complaining. This is actually- this has been an interesting story. Not necessarily a bad one, but just... Interesting. <laughs> Why is Red Winter so big? If you have breath to talk, then you're not moving fast enough. Now, um, what's that in front of... What? Oh, no. Alright, guys, we need, to, we need to start pulling for Soyuz. <laughs> Just pull Tava. Yeah, exactly. I don't have the cubes anymore. Oh no. <laughs> Greetings, Knowledge Liberation Front. We're here on behalf of the Red Winter Secretariat Office. What? What are you? I'd like to offer the Knowledge Liberation Front my congratulations on their accomplishments. Rejoice! I, I don't know what you're going on about, but please wrap it up quickly. We're busy. I'll give you the short version. The Secretariat Office received a tip that Shale's legendary sensei is working with the Knowledge Liberation Front to create fanfiction. Aha. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> yeah, Kuma, of course she would. Her? Yes, in response, the Secretariat Office conducted an investigation into this so-called fanfiction and the events surrounding it. And we've decided to award you with the President's Mustache Medal of Effort. The Mustache Medal of Effort? <laughs> well, as the Operation Front should consider it a very great honor. Uh, thanks, I guess, but... I'd rather get my book printed than get some dumb medal. But I'm getting ahead of myself. You see, I can't bestow this medal upon you until you meet one condition. If the Knowledge Liberation Front is to be awarded the medal, in order to spread the word of the great President Shadow's cuteness and charm, we require that she appear in your fanfic as a guest character. Just think Shadow's charm would make your fanfic shine like sunlight, warming the heart of every one winter student who reads it. Would it be a sight to behold? Oh, it would be a sight to behold, all right. You know, now that I think about it, we might as well give her a starring role. Do you think... Do that and we'll give you the President's Mustache Medal of Achievement, too! <laughs> um... I would say no to this, but I don't know how they're gonna react. Don't be ridiculous, we have less than three hours left. If you want to feature President Shadow, then the Secretariat Office should write its own manga, or better yet, commission it from me for a small fee. Which I'd refuse, of course! Well said, Meru. I'd expect nothing less. Now, we're extremely busy, so quit distracting us. We don't need your stinking medal. You seem to have forgotten something important, so I'll remind you. The Knowledge Liberation Front fights for knowledge, not medals. Knowledge is power. We will protect it. I'm sorry. There's no compromising this time. I can't help you. Pulls out gun. I'm just kidding. I see. Well, I knew this wouldn't be easy. That's why I have a backup plan. I will use the full mind of the Secretariat Office to persuade you. What are you trying to do? I've got a bad feeling again! The Secretary of Office is not above coercion! We will ensure President Chirino features in her own fanfic! <laughs> what?! <laughs> <laughs> to the gulag, I guess. <laughs> well, she lasted long. She that that gun is actually doing work. <laughs> it's like it's actually sitting like Look what their gun is, and look who they are! <laughs> I kinda just wanna... Can you hit both? Just do it. Wait, Midori? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> the bounty <laughs> Oh my gosh! The pouty face! The pouty face! <laughs> that is hilarious. So about pulling Marina, I mean, I still kind of want to. But that was hilarious at the same time. Are we still fighting them? Oh, now we're out to Minori! <laughs> what are they protesting? Hold up! What are they protesting? Labor Party suggestions, what do you mean? This is like the whole scenario with Akko where everything that could go wrong just went wrong. Did we win? We've defeated the Secretariat Office, but I worry this will damage our relations. Don't worry, the Secretariat Office already considered the Knowledge Liberation Front to be a thorn in their side. That's certainly true, but... Those who stand in our way will face their own destruction! z, -Z, -Z, -Z <laughs> Come on, we're running out of time! Stop, in the name of Labor of Revolution, I must say my piece! What is it now?
I have a megaphone! <laughs> it's a bunch of Labor Party members and President Minori herself! Thank goodness I found you here. I heard that Knowledge Liberation Front is making a massive effort to produce fanfiction about Luna. I wouldn't exactly call it massive. Why is the Labor Party so interested in our fanfic? We respect the spirit of the Knowledge Liberation Front. Above all, we wish to revive the legacy of the past and apply it to the modern era. The more we learn about the history of labor, the more we are inspired to revolt and bring down the establishment. Is that what they think Luna was about? There's no way. In that spirit, we have a proposal for you. We propose that the Knowledge Liberation Front revise their current fanfic to highlight those revolutionary ideas. Revolution! Revolution! Furthermore, to- what is this face? To enlighten the working class and liberate them from their oppressive overlords, we propose that the workers struggle to be the main theme here. Liberty! Liberty! Where did you get these ideas? I wondered where the, when you were going to speak up. I owe the Labor Party a debt of gratitude, and I'm thankful that you visit our library. But we cannot acquiesce you to your request. Yeah, we don't have time. <laughs> pout. Minority pout. That is very disappointing to hear. We've learned so much from the, I, li, from the literary works cu curated by the librarians of the Knowledge Liberation Front. I long for a partnership in which we can we teach a lesson to that abominable mustache who throws away yogurt lids without licking them. Ah, yes, I'd love to go back to that. I knew the Labor Party was behind that flag. God. <laughs> this is why Blue Archive is goofy sometimes, and I love it. <laughs> I didn't want to resort to this, but you leave me no choice. Comrades, from this day on, we shall wage a relentless war against the Knowledge Liberation Front until we can bring their blurry vision back into focus. Yeah! <laughs> but, okay. I'll be prepared for a shotgun to the face and a, and a bear rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice double. Did you- did you miss? Oh, nope, not that time. You definitely didn't either. Hit the boss. I literally cannot. I need to hit these guys with the rocket launcher. I'm sorry, did you just dump a whole bunch of stuff? You know what? Here. Take all of it. All of this for a d yeah, no kidding. <laughs> All of that, just for that. How <laughs> dare the mustache throw away the lids without licking? Them. That is such a weird statement. R Red Winter, Red Winter is something. Oh my gosh, so much combat. Who's next? I didn't even bother to look at the enemy. I'm definitely gonna be late now. At least we got them to back down. Good job, Sensei. To quote Omiji, I got a bad feeling about this. Don't be silly, Sensei. The worst is oh no, shut up. What are the odds that a third group would have cut Shut up! Yeah, besides, this is all just a coincidence. Both of those groups were acting alone with their own agenda. Shut up! Boom. Boom. Oh no. I like you both, though. Well, okay, I like her more than you, but <laughs> I like Shigure, though. <laughs> hey, I heard the knowledge celebration front was making some kind- some valuable fanfiction. And Anoka said that she had a good idea for it, and I'm here to support her. Could it be- I don't have no idea. I have no- I don't have no- What's with the double negative here? I 
don't have any I think it's I think it was supposed to be I don't have any idea what it's about but, but I heard it's valuable and that's all I care about I think that's what that's supposed to mean I figure all we need to do is get our hands on it then we could sell it to President Cherno for a pretty penny and finally get a stove for spec oh they right I forgot they they uh they uh yep that makes sense this actually makes I, I understand where they're coming from this just because I know them why would you get a stove? You're supposed to be earning your way out of suspension, not making yourself cut. You earn your way out of suspen- Right. I intend to take advantage of President Chenero's greed. She's, she's determined to have it all, as they say. So why fight the inevitable? She's going to get it eventually, whether you like it or not. Give it to us and you'll be helping us get out of suspension and back to normal life without with proper heating blankets and aren't, that aren't full of bugs and a bear-free existence. No way, find somebody else's fanfic to steal. <laughs> oh, hi, drones. She gonna no! She gonna no! Man, uh. <laughs> Made her way messing around with that gun. Oh, we just right. Nadoka is uh, that's the right, right, right. It would just be Shigure, wouldn't it? <laughs> that was very short. That was a very short fight for what it was. Who's tailing them at this point now, I wonder? We have one more fight, but I don't know who. So after all that, the Knowledge Liberation Front still missed its deadline. I can't say I'm surprised. It would have taken a miracle for them to pull that off. It's too bad I can't help, but as a critic and club president, I must remain impartial. Perhaps our paths will cross in another more meaningful way in the future, so long. Wait! Knowledge Liberation Front is here and ready to submit our injury. You finished your manuscript? That's right, here. Well, you certainly know how to make an entrance. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Consider your manuscript received. Though I still can't believe it. You didn't do anything illegal, did you? Who do you take us for? It is really not a bad art cover, yeah. We all worked really hard on it. S Sensei, you look like you're going to collapse. It's okay, I haven't dropped yet. Hmm, if you're sure. We definitely couldn't have done it without your help, Sensei. Just getting here was a battle. First the Secretariat Office, then the Labor Party. <laughs> I'm not sure what the Secretariat Office and Labor Party have to do with your injury. Oh, that's a story. <laughs> but I'm glad to see you two have made up. Well, that was just a minor disagreement. Nothing really in the grand scheme of things. Ah, uh, Meru. Sorry. Y yes, we apologized to each other and made up. Can you have my congratulations? Regarding the content and quality of the manuscript... I don't need to read it to know what to expect. Judging by the state of you two... You're putting on the old disingenuous act again, which means you're actually surprised that I pulled it off, aren't you? And is that a hint of admiration? You're probably thinking, classic Meru, she's so brilliant and awesome that my limited mind just can't understand. Oh, everyone brace. Brace for impact. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Oh, there's the gun again. There's the, <laughs> there's the Takate we all know and loathe. You're the one that talk, you haven't changed one bit. You took the words right out of my mouth. After all you've been through, I thought you'd have grown up a bit. <laughs> Says you! Always, gr always growing up. In fact, I'm as grown up as it gets. Now, now, we've finally finished the manuscript. We just need to stay civil long enough to kind of review it. Hmm. Now that you two have, been, have reconciled, it seems the tables have turned. Anyway, procedure is procedure, and a critic must remain impartial. Alright, later. Review your manuscript now. Oh, 
Whoa, whoa, time out. Hm? Who? Oh. <laughs> ah. Uh oh. Ah, I knew you could do it, Meru. <laughs> Yakumo. Is that the president? I'm scared. What what are we having to deal with now? What's next? What's happening now? What are we who are we fighting? Hi Yuka. <laughs> who? <Whom>? Marina. <laughs> Why again? The typical red winter day. Does it have explosions and bullets? Yakumo. Is that the president? A classic tale of friendship, hard work, and grit. It's so touching that I wish I could write it down somewhere to preserve it for eternity. Something's up. Why is she saying such nice things? But first, let's talk about that all-important manuscript you promised me. Manuscript? I mean, I know you asked me to do a manuscript, but... She didn't read the fine print. That's rude. That's just that's just mean. That is mean. I'm glad you remember. Now on that subject, I've decided I'd rather have the Luna Volume 22 you wrote instead. But not this. There are so many reasons I can't give this up, but the most important is that I promised it to Momiji. Momiji. Oh, but what about our contract? That I mean you does it have to be Luna? Yes, and I have a very good reason for that. But you can relax. I'm not asking you to transfer ownership forever. It's more like a loan, a favor. Granted, that's a there's a decent chance it'll be a mid to long term loan. What do you want with a Luna fanfic? Yeah, what are you going to do with it? I hope you don't plan to mass publish it. I don't care how amazing the story is, or whether it's a faithful representation of the ending that never, of the ending that never existed. You can't do that. M M what, am I wrong? What are you talking about? I'm not a monster. I've never published fanfic from an unfinished series and claim it was canon. Well, hmm. Why do you want my manuscript then? Simple. But before I explain, let's recap what all this fuss has been about. First, Meru had a fight with her friend, and she puts herself through hell to make it up, f make it up for to her. Ah, but you created the hell for me, didn't you? Then, as if it weren't enough, she enlisted the help of Shale's famous sensei. Never once did she hesitate to fight, reconcile, and earn the respect of her rivals. Hey, that's your... Hey, that's your boss. Do something about it. There's no point asking me. This is who she is. And at the end of it all, she gave everything to create a manuscript. It's a story of friendship, violence, he hijinks, and serendipity. Isn't that a great story? That sounds about right. Don't you dare agree with her sensei. That is why I, ya <laughs> Aramaki Yakumo, have come up to have come to a decision, or rather, I'm enacting the backup plan I developed the moment Meru entered the publishing department. Meru's epic, heart-wrenching adventures should be sold. I mean, shown to every student in midwinter. No, Kivotos. The publishing department will use every arrow in its considerable quiver to turn this amazing saga into a live-action movie. Eh? <laughs> I agree, Momichi. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> Everyone is confused. Huh? The part the publishing department does that kind of thing? Of course we do! Collaborations between the publishing and movie industries are all the rage these days, whether it's an ebook ad adapted into a movie or a movie adapted into an ebook. Happens all the time. It's an integral part of IP expansion and a good business. 
Yeah, but aren't you gonna start going into like... I guess this is... this is... I, I don't even know why I'm trying to bring logic into this, but I was like, isn't there like copyright IP laws that you're gonna break with this? But I also have to remember that this is Kivotos and laws don't really apply. <sighs> yeah. I should have known not to underestimate them once you got involved, Sensei. Even you're impressed? If you just let me borrow that manuscript, the possibilities are endless. You could even use it as a promotional material. Don't worry, you can trust me to give it back to you, but we should discuss time frame. Could be a while. Um, how much time are we talking here? If we managed to stick to our timetable, we could have the movie done in about a year, maybe two. Why would you think I couldn't wait that long? Or that I could just hand it over? What makes you think... Ahem, you're not very trusting, are you? Don't you... Do not underestimate the power of the publishing department. We can do big things for you. You think I have trust issues? I mean, to be fair, you're being very shady. Not you, her. <laughs> if you really can't give us the full manuscript, then that's that. You're giving up? Just like that. That's not like you, unless you're about to do something crazy, aren't you? I wouldn't call it crazy, but you should know that here in Red Winter, there are a lot of people who would be appalled at your cavalier attitude about contracts. Oh no. Particularly those who run Red Winter. Secretariat office, over here. You know, they're 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 already fine from the, the skirmish they had earlier. This girl this horrible girl broke a promise to her friend. Then she beat up every member of our secretariat office and got away with it. Well, oh, excuse me! You're the one that attacked first! I'm getting roped into this like I'm one of the stews. This is all- <laughs> What? Sensei, where are you? Oh, look, another dork face. I feel like one of these days, someone just needs to grab every single one of these facial expressions from every student and just put them side by side with each other. That's all. Th 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 there's nothing else to that. Why are you here? Did you get reported for breaking the school rules? No. What is this face for? No. How shameful you are. How shameful you all are. Even you can't break Woodrenter's rules and get away with this incident. We'll detain you in the self-reflection room. I'm no stranger to the room myself. Trust me. I'll be nice and go. I see. No. You're the one who dragged the secretariat office into this, Yakumo. We should be more careful. Contracts can be dangerous. And what's gonna happen if they lose? How is she gonna react to, well... <laughs> Marina just getting dunked on twice? Hey, the statue's gone. Uh, we are surrounded. Um, are you about to just eat it? You just took that straight to the face. Do it again. Right to the- on fire! Right to the face again. Going for some intense action, taking it straight to the- I think that was a miss. I- I think. I- I- I think she took them out. Here, you get the four of them. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. I mean, Momiji's got that crazy radius for an attack. Hey, neither of them have a gun that fast. Oh my, you're so strong! Bleh! <laughs> I'm sorry, my name, but remember, there's two sides to every story. Well, I did you expect to lose? They managed to take down the Secretariat office, even without Sensei's help? Without, even without Sensei's help, the power of friendship is formidable. Madam President, I'm, me I'm nearly spent. So, it seems we've lost. Pity. I really wanted that manuscript. I suppose I should just make a clean retreat while I still can. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. Guess I'll get the next manuscript you write. You mean this isn't over? Not every fairy tale ends after a single battle. That's what happens after the hero defeats the villain that matters. You and your little underdog will have to fight more than one battle to get rid of me. You can look forward to a full-blown battle next time. How do you say such terrifying things with a straight face? You made a promise, Mede, and you don't want to break another promise, do you? She has a point. We're done here. The publishing department will take their leave for now. 
But when we return, it will be with an offer you can't refuse. I mean, that's what the last guy said the last time to us. I hope it's a fair contract next time. <laughs> yes, the power of friendship in this RPG we fit we have. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's over with. Wasn't it your president who caused it? She may be my president, but she and I aren't totally are two are two totally different people. Anyway, that's not the point right now, is it? It's finally time for the kind of critique. I hope you won't be bothered by any negative feedback, Sensei. You and Sensei isn't bothered. I'm going to be a wreck. This revelation holds more power than people realize. Let's steal ourselves. Hang in there, deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. I feel like I know how she's gonna be. Why are people terrified of me as if I hold their life in my hand? It's so strange. I, mean, I don't know, maybe because you're a critique and you also acted this way. Anyway, time to read. I need a minute to focus. Okay, time for some honest feedback. I've worked so hard, but I'm so worried it won't pay off. Even children know who would know this is a long shot. If this all falls apart, remember us. Remember that there was a book and people who read it loved it. Are you saying last words? You're wasting time, you know, and my time is quite valuable. Alright, I calm down now. You know what they say, everyone worries about the future, but few people really, really truly think about it. And it is the same for the past. We view the present through the lens of history. But few will examine the past with any sense of clarity. We forget what we dislike. We glorify what we love. We push the pain to the back of our minds. We actually value the present too much. It cannot exist without its siblings. We have expanding past lies behind us and the infinite future before us. The past, though the present is but a thin line between the two. That's why stories are about the present cannot escape the past or future. The passage of time is inevitable. Many would like to forget that and live solely in the present, but we can never escape it. This story is about Luna's past, present, and future. The story itself is unremarkable in many ways, but the writer's dedication certainly stands out. In fact, that is its most striking quality. It's set the emotion is a rarity these days. It's a modern classic. Furthermore... 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 What? What is it? She can't, she's, oh, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> We're throwing those words right back at her. <laughs> there we go. There we go. What you have to say, Sensei, then I... <clears throat> it was a good story. It made me wonder what could have been given enough... It made me wonder what could have been given enough time. Good work, Knowledge Liberation Front. It's so strange to hear. That is so strange to hear. Are you sure you meant to say that? Yeah, you're giving me way too much credit. Do you know what it took for me to say that after you respond so rudely? Hey, it sounded weird to me too, okay? Give me a break. <laughs> Both sides are just like, no, you don't actually. Fine. Now that you're officially a part of the club, I'll send you the time and location for the next con. Check your mail later. Can't wait. Next time we'll be more pre than prepared. Yeah, we'll have plenty of time next year. I'm not holding at my breath, but good luck anyway. Knowledge Liberation Front. Okay. Shall we head back? Absolutely. I'm gonna sleep like a rock tonight. I'm gonna sleep for the next two days. <laughs> well, anyway. Maybe I, I can't believe you wrote the last volume of Luna for me. All I can say is I'm really impressed. <laughs> right? It all turned out just fine, didn't it? As long as we get the ending right, everything is a-okay. -okay. And we got an amazing ending. I should've known you'd deprive me of the opportunity to say something sentimental at the end. Not one thing went smoothly. What's worse, you dragged Sensei into it and forced them to work on the manuscript for four days straight. I just wanted to show Sensei what life as a cartoonist on deadline is like. 
Oh, please, you just wanted to be the center of attention. You made them do it. No, they volunteered. Even so, you crossed the line. You absolutely embarrassed Sensei. Hey, it was no picnic for me either. Yeah, but you brought it up in yourself. And you made my life hard too. Ladies, please. Hey, you know I'm fine, really. You may be fine, but I'm not. Stop right there, Manu, and listen to what I'm about to say to you. Ugh, underclassmen can't play their senior. No speeches, no scolding. Manu! <laughs> Cartoonist manga, e manga, manga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should have said that. It's all right. The Knowledge Liberation Front descended into another shouting match, but this time I wasn't so worried about it. Well, another peaceful day. <laughs> yeah, that's peaceful, all right. <laughs> that's goofy. Alrighty, that was that was hilarious, okay. and that's that. That was that was just that that was. <laughs> That was surprisingly a long story. Not a bad one, though. It was just funny. It kept building up all of this. Some things were a little hectic. And then, right at the very end, it just straight up went downhill. And then ended on a good note. <laughs> this is ex It had, like, the exact, like, intensity of, like, the summer event for, like, the uh, Prefect team. Where it was just, like, it was just building up. And all of a sudden it went downhill, then uphill, then downhill, then uphill, then downhill, uphill. <laughs> right. Least destructive event in Kivotos. I mean, yeah, it was it was really like confined to a very small space within Red Winter. Oh, I gotta I gotta get more cards if I'm gonna do that. I don't think I've actually really been focusing on the card pulling. I probably should. This is the story, not the quest. Which one is that even? Looks like it's this one. Yeah, okay. I have not actually bothered with this. Let's let's dump a whole bunch of these. This is elastic, so why not? Okay, okay, here's the question. Do I even have characters that work with the tarot cards? I do. Two of them are explosive. And one of them is matter. Yeah, that's that that this is pain. Last one is better for cards. Okay, well at least I still need to look at the Yes it is. <laughs> still creates the other problem of uh We're fighting the Sonic type, right? Or whatever the whatever Siege? Is it called Siege? What is it called now? Elastic. They're all elastic armors. Problem is, explosives resistant to it. So I am gonna have to bring Hanako just to at least handle that. I would, I would think. Who's even in the special category? Not a lot. I feel like I should. Uh... Well, at least we have, we, oh, we have Akko. This feels like it's going to be very painful. <laughs> blue does 150. Yeah, but the blue for the tarot card is... Chance of Hot Springs. She's a support, not a, not a dealer. And these two are resistant. And she's just normal, I think. So that's 60 there, assuming I don't bring Hanako. And then here I get 30, so I'm at 90 at best. Don't have that much XP, or XP, HP. 
Well, we can at least see if it works. I'll at least throw this team around. Uh, three of them are already here. I mean, we should be at least somewhat okay. Chinatsu is level 80. I already had this team equipped. Well, let's see. You have the attack speed, girl, aren't you? I don't remember. I haven't looked at your skill in a while. Yeah, attack speed. I could probably. I should. I've been. I've got a bunch of materials for you actually now. Oof. I can get more of those. Actually, no. I could just get five. I know this is a good character to use anyway for certain for certain raids. So I should. That's not the button I wanted to hit. There we go. I don't even know who to put this on. I guess maybe just put it on... I mean, it's gotta be Iori at that point. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, I know. I'm just a little bit worried because I'm just like, I don't really have any... This is a support. That's a support. I guess this is the, she's a dealer and they're both backs though. I don't have a tank for <laughs> I think we'll be... <laughs> we'll see. I have some concerns. I forgot to set the starting the starting uh, skills, but whatever. I just realized... I just realized the entire Prefect team is here. This is the entire Prefect team. Plus you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you okay? I mean, I might as well just give this to her. Oh, I don't know if I want to. Well, I don't know if I need that. Let's just put this on you for now. He does hurt. Oh, I forgot how demanding being a skill is. It's like I want to save most of these skills, but whatever. I need a bigger group for this. This isn't gonna do good. Well, if you're all gonna line up right there... I mean, it's resist still, but whatever. Oh, right, you can do that. I should do that. Well... She's a resist... Uh, yeah, it's good to the best. I'm not used to I'm not not, not use you in a while. Germans vs. Russia round two. Oh, that was a block. Oof. I'm gonna put this on you and just buff her. That's only gonna be two, but whatever. Who's boss? There's boss, okay. Oh, boss is down. Fortunately, they got the shield up. I have four healers. This isn't going to do anything I needed to do. Also, Chinatsu healing Chinatsu. <laughs> and the winner is... Not a surprise. <laughs> worked out. I should probably get the... I know I, I logged in pseudo recently, so this probably isn't fully charged, or probably really that charged. We'll see. 
Yeah, it's only 37%. Well, let's just get a whole bunch of these and see what happens. Actually, I probably have more stuff. I can do. I think I could do tasks for week. And I already got it all. Okay, never mind. Uh, I have AP. I can go to the shop, get a few more, get a few more pieces of it. I think that's all I can do, though. Oh no, I got one more. I just lose track of how many of these refreshes I get. All right. I think that's it. This is like all of the AP I can squeeze outside of using pyros on it. All right, here we go. Let's have fun with some pulling. Card pulling. Okay. So that's all I want. <laughs> Merum and Momiji, Yakumo, Takane. Those are the four really good ones. And no no Notoka, Shigure, and Minori. Alright, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna pick this one. With a Shigure. Bad. What do you guys usually do on this? Do you just go for like the, at least the gold and then and then just shuffle, or do you actually see if you can get one or two more? I know, like I know, generally what people do is just get uh, get the good one, then shuffle, or, or yeah, pick a pick one and shuffle because it's two hundred. And have boop. Oof. <laughs> well, let's try the green one. Hey, Meru! <laughs> Such a kind of funny one. <laughs> You want credit to the girl. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's usually what people would do. Bloop. Oof. Alright, now come on. <laughs> Pretty much. I'll try for at least a gold. Oh, there it is. And... Yellow. Oof, the guard. Red. Oh, there's no idea. Blue. Come on, that's not that bad. Green. Oh. Oh, see. So it's this one. Was this worth it? Oh, Yakima. Alright, let's, let's, let's turn that off because it's kind of weird there. Oof. All that for the Yakima. Was it worth it? I don't know. Boom. And then Nodoka. Why is she so smug? Alright, alright. So I, I said I would do this. So. This is the hard question. Who wins in the end here? The dork. 
that is Marina. Or these two. Well, I don't even know if I'm gonna get either of them. The two star is more likely than the three star, but even then it's still a two star. There's a lot of other two stars on the banner, but we'll see. The question is... Only, we're only gonna do a... Uh, we'll at least do a... We'll just do a single. Defrost is already calling it. That probably is true. Piercing banners are the worst for me. I'm not gonna... I'm not... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep most. Don't worry. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not gonna do... I'm... Like, I just have this ticket. That's it. Go for... <laughs> you go for Manina because she's afraid of cats. Why does her being afraid of cats have anything to do with it? I don't actually... I don't think they show anything about that. I'm sitting here... thinking... She is fun. She is fun because she's just her skill is just absolutely silly, and it would give me a reason to use her on the piercing team for just the fun of it. But on this side, this was a cute story. The gun she has though is really weird. You do lack Red Winter Student. I do, and boy do I feel it. Mid are both piercing. I know! That's why I'm hesitant, because I'm not gonna do more than probably the ticket. Because piercing banners are horrible for me. Like, the only time I've ever gotten the piercing character was because was the twins. Because I guess they liked me or something. I don't know. Get Granny Pami the evil to bless you for the... <laughs> That's not your thing, so yeah, like I just I just find her skill and her playstyle hilarious. That's the only reason why I'm half tempted for this. I actually like the story, so these two were are kind of also good, but I'm not really sure which one group I like better. I think if I really had to put <laughs> I love how it crashes. I think Marina is the winner though. I think that's I think that's gonna be the answer for it. Cause like whenever I could, if I if I'm ever gonna be able to choose my own squads and it's piercing, I'm absolutely going to use her for no reason. Plus, it would give me a reason to use my red winter books. <laughs> so we shall give it a shot. If we don't get her, we don't get her. We shall see what happens. It's the piercing banner. I don't have high expectations. This froze again. If I am, then I'm cursed. We shall see. So this is it. This is it. No looking good, chat. It's not looking good. Please. Nope. Four two stars, though. Four two stars. <laughs> That's a lot of two stars, actually. <laughs> and they were all at the end, which is probably the scariest thing. I usually see them spread out. Maybe Momi Momiji? Oh, yeah, but she's probably not right up on this banner, though. I mean, if we get Momiji, that at least gives me a character I can use on the... Uh, I mean, it's only one day left, but still. Oh, there we go. Right into these. Utaha? The Gremlin? Junko? And Ice Cream Girl. There we go. That be it. There's our tin pool. I'm actually kind of surprised how many two stars I got there. That be how it is. That was all. <laughs> I'm like I said, I'm not surprised. It's piercing banner. 
Like, if, if, if there's, like, a huge meta character in Piercing, I'm gonna probably go to Pity every single time, and it's, it sucks, but it is what it is. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Makes it better than having a roll or a scroll like that. Save for mob. Oh no, don't worry, I wasn't gonna spend any more. I was just gonna give it the good old try, and if it didn't work, it didn't work. That was all. Because I at least have. This is a pity for uh, Ichika. Jen, what? <laughs> Hi, Jen. <laughs> Seems like the, uh, Addis Bennett correction course. No, 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 that's just piercing. This is piercing in a nutshell. Like, if you look at the number of piercings I actually have that are three stars, it's very low, I think. I think that's all I need to do there, isn't it? Wait, you're piercing? Oh, you are. Okay, who are the number of three stars we have that are piercing? Okay, you... Obviously you, you, but I said the twins liked, liked me. You guys already know how long it took me to get Tsubaki, or at least the people that know me well enough know how long this took. Chihiro, I don't remember when I got her, but I have her. Miyu is, I think, the only, uh, no, she's the second rabbit I got. Aru, I pulled four. I don't remember how well that pull went. I don't remember what I got you. I know I got you on your on their first appearance. One more ten pull trust, Yosuke. Are you? <laughs> Like, I'm sitting here trying to think, though, like... Even me had Wakamo was just like Wakamo. I, I, I mean, the Wakamo incident is still a thing. I'm actually kind of surprised. I kind of feel like... I, I wish she actually had her, uh... Like, the portrait didn't have this on her. Because I think... No, both... No, no, they both are on. Never mind. Yuzu was a spook. Ayane was a freebie. Iori, I don't even remember when I got her. Maki, I think, was a freebie? Nonami is a freebie. Junko was technically a freebie. I don't remember when I got Neru. Don't remember when I got you. I think I actually got you on your banner. You can switch the mask off if she's in your lobby. Oh, really? Fair enough, I guess. But yeah, like, look how many of the piercings I don't have, though. Oh, this is all of them? Really? Has there really not been that many piercing banners? I guess so. Huh. I feel like there's been way more of the others. Oh, maybe there is a lot less than I thought there was. Which one do I have the least of? Oh yeah, expl yeah, expl yeah, I, I, okay, never mind. It's actually more explosives. Jeez. Not surprising, Mystic is the banner that with the least missing. Suruki gives you. Uh, hmm. What character would Jin like in this? That's the question I have to ask now. I'm, I'm sitting here looking at it like, hmm. <laughs> Which one would Jin like? <laughs> I have no idea, really. 
I've never really thought about this. Man's man's called uh you like Akko? Hmm. <laughs> Man was not prepared, I think. <laughs> I mean, she's not a bad, like, character, uh, I don't know, per I don't know if she's ever like. uh, she's not the personality that I think you probably like, but it is what it is. I mean, I, don't, I feel like chat's just gonna throw me at one character because it's just... <laughs> I'm actually sitting here wondering. It's a Prefect Team's relationship with Zedzeg, except for <laughs> perhaps Jinatsu. Has there been a lot of interactions with, like... I haven't done Momo talks for Chinatsu. Is Chinatsu like, does he do that to her, or is it simply just Iori and Hina? And I don't, I don't actually, I haven't done Akos either, so I don't know. Hot Springs Chinatsu incident. You mean the one where I accidentally pulled her twice and was confused when it was actually supposed to be somebody else? What banner was the was the Chinatsu Hot Spring thing? Was that was that was that uh, Iroha's? That was Iroha's, right? That was like the super cursed banner, or the blurst. That was yeah, that was the blurst banner. I remember now. Okay. Group story. Uh, I might do some. Yeah, I might probably try those later. Maybe I'll pick up a like a stream or something for we can just start covering stories or something. I don't know. Or I can I can figure that out. Just need to wait, Ibuki. I mean, I can't wait to like call down Iroha and then Ibuki just is like, "Hi, I'm gonna I'm gonna join," and then you just see Ibuki just sitting on uh, in the tank with her. <laughs> I do love that. That is that is adorable. Do you do the challenge stages? Sometimes, if I can remember, I did just burn all my AP, so I guess I can't do it now. I'd rather not use pyros to it. You know, your hush chunk is I know, but it's still cute. Like, it's, it's adorable seeing, like... The dynamic between the two of them is... It, I mean, yeah, I, I, I know, but... I know they're, like... What am I trying to say here? It's just cute. I'll just leave it at that. It's just cute. I don't really know what the right right. Sound chases are 5 AP each. Oh, really? Well, I don't have enough for two. I, I'll try it later when I have more AP. And if I need to change and level up stuff. So. Alright. That is uh, all I'm going to have for tonight. It is getting late. But I have a few things I'll do. You, you get to help Chino deal with the coup and the challenge. Oh, really? That's hilarious. Um, what was I going to say? I will... Um, I got to figure out what my schedule is this week. Because I know I've got a couple things that are going to be in the way. But I think for the most part, it should be all right. I've been waiting to... Maybe I could try the TB thing. You know, I'll think about it. That would be fun. I haven't done TB yet. I should try it out. What? I think you guys were saying, uh, you guys were saying like a four hour stream should probably be enough for at least one ending, right? Maybe that'll be the thing I'll do. Because I have, I have yet to do it and I've been meaning to do it. And it looks like fun. I 
and I'm actually kind of curious what ending I'm gonna get and how the game's going to function. I can't imagine it being like super hard. Instead of how to train your dragon, it'll be how to train your TV. <laughs> yeah, I'll see about that. So, and uh, I know I've got Arknight clips for the roguelike already. I've had some really stupid uh, runs already. Uh, for those of you who have been, who were hanging out with me earlier before the stream, um, you already know. But uh, for those that actually play Arc Knights and weren't uh, hanging around the Discord, it's all right, no worries. Um, I've been playing it quite a bit. I am now at difficulty eight, which is going to be terrifying. It kind of gets it gets sweaty if you don't know what you're doing. Eh, it's fine. I'll figure it out. That's the fun of it, right? If you don't know what you're doing, you'll uh, going in blind is the best way to do it because I mean that's that's the real first experience, you know what I mean? It's more fun to play something blind and figure it out for me, you know. That's always been how I am. I'm not a uh, I'm not a I need to know how it plays and everything for. I mean, okay, for Arc Knight stages, yeah, that's a bit different, but I usually figure that out as I go, unless it's like one of those super hard ones that I need to kind of get an idea of where the enemy spawn intervals are and everything, but that usually is something I figure out. So no backseat. I would prefer that for this, yeah. Cause usually, uh, if I do like any visual novel type thing where it's, where decisions matter, I would prefer to weigh my own decisions and make them on my own. Because I don't know what, I know there's like a bunch of endings. I don't know which ones I'm gonna get, but it's worth looking at them. Oh yeah, Ice Exists and Arknights, I totally forgot about that. Oh yeah, it's fun. It's a very different experience. Definitely a lot more complicated, but still a lot more fun. Um, I think it's been pretty good so far. Man, you are destroying poor TP's future, but... Uh, okay, if you get the... I heard if you get the bad ending, yes. But... If you get, you know, you don't necessarily have to get the bad ending. And I feel like I... I, 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 I feel like I could make a lot of bad decisions and that would lead to that. It's painful, both new and... It's pain... It's painful? Really? I actually love it. It's not too challenging. Like, I'm probably... I'll probably play a bit more of it tonight. I might do one or two more runs and see if I can get to at least difficulty 9. And then push myself there. I have really bad luck, I just end up giving up a play. Oh, that's unfortunate. This, uh, this iteration has a lot less to do with luck. It still has a little bit to do with, like, what encounters, what kind of characters you can bring in, sure, but I never even finished the first time. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You know, it's, it's, it's a game mode that you either love it or you hate it. If you don't, if you don't like it, then you don't have to play it. I mean, that's the nice thing about it. There's no, like, daily you have to do. There's no, nothing tied to it, so it's kind of a pick up at your own pace. I actually really do appreciate that they do that. Because a lot of people, it's like, uh, what is it, SSS, and from what I hear, Reclamation Algorithm wasn't great either. Um, but personally, like, for me, I actually really loved IS. I still love it, and Reclamation Algorithm was hilarious. Like, I had a lot of fun with it. There are monthly incentives, but nothing you have to do. I mean, yeah, sure, there's monthly incentives, but once the final update gets pushed they're all there so like if you if you miss the entirety of is2 and 3 you could still play them you play at your own risk or at your own time at your own pace when you want to if you don't like the game mode you don't have to touch it yeah it's got a lot of resources to it you could pick up if you really are willing to put yourself through it but if you don't want to play you don't have to there's probably people that you <laughs> I, mean, I don't know maybe there's somebody that would play it for you if you wanted the resources that badly Speed up finishing the reward track, that's about it. Yeah, exactly. But you could just play it. I do love it though. It can force some interesting T builds. Yeah, it, it it does. I mean when you get to the higher difficulties, it probably will. I mean nine I will I will say at, at eight right or at seven, which I played earlier, I was just kind of doing whatever I I, I was just picking random people, man. Half my team didn't make sense, though my blaze was stupid. <laughs> so I do thoroughly enjoy it. I think it's fun. But, yeah. I'll look into a time for TB. I think that'll be a fun thing to do. Um, I just side contact you can miss and it will still be there. Yeah, that that's great. Like, that's what I love about it. It's like, I mean, SSS is less so because it's time limited. 
and people I know I know people love and hate that mode at the same time they probably like it a lot better than they did when they when it first came out because that was a pain but uh, I actually like the challenge of it it was kind of interesting it's like trials of the navigator too I like trials the trials of the navigator game mode was really fun too like it's I love that Ark Knights tries so many different ways to change their game it's probably the one of the better strengths that they have is they're not afraid to take a little risk and try something different. Does it work all the time? Nah, it doesn't. SSS was horrible for its first update, but or uh, for its release. But I think after a while, it's gotten better. And then IS, I mean, they're on their fourth iteration of IS. It's crazy. So I think that's probably one of the strongest things for Arknights right now is they're constantly trying to reinvent themselves or twist, put a twist on their game to keep it fresh. Is it going to always stay fresh? Probably not. But for people who enjoy those kind of game modes, it's it's fun. So anyway, I'll think so. I'll find the time for the TB stuff. SSS is getting better. That's awesome. It's glad to hear. Um, I'll see if I can find a time for it. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see what else I can stream. Maybe I'll do some more IS this week or something. Trying to get into higher difficulties. Might help. I don't know. I'll see. Or I can focus on other things that I want to do as well so I'll figure that out um, but for the meantime hope you guys did enjoy this uh, this stream I definitely did like this event it was goofy very different from the usual ones took a little bit to build up but there was a lot of dialogue um, not bad though it didn't it, it's not like Arc Knights level uh, like length or anything but it was definitely longer than usual or at least it felt longer I should say um, but did enjoy it thought it was funny the ending was just ridiculous <laughs> so does give a lot more prelude to uh, uh red winner so all right well that's gonna be all for now hope you guys did enjoy and uh yeah i will see you guys in the near future have a good night morning afternoon wherever you are see you all soon